Ladies and gentlemen, Godspeed. It has been, uh, I, I was just saying to myself, right before we were getting ready to go live, I'm like, you know, Taryn, we've been playing far too many good fucking video games lately. <laughs> and a little remnant from the ashes a while back. We've had good fucking games of late. And, uh, folks, it's about time we mocked a motherfucking turd. Right, right in public, we need to, we need to mock a turd, and there is no bigger turd right now. You left the fucking Resident Evil wallpaper up, by the way. <laughs> That's didn't not Resident it. Evil. That's not Resident Evil. Look closer. Oh, shit. That's, okay. This is Redfall. <laughs> I didn't even, oh, wow. I thought that was the, the Resident Evil wallpaper. Fuck. All right. Anyways damn dude we're off to a roaring start and just confuse this with an entirely different game fuck <laughs> so anyways i was thinking we've been playing far too many good games it's about time for a let's mock stream so let's do it there is no bigger turn in the industry right now than fucking redfall a botched fucking kermit gosnellian abortion folks I, i'm drawing floor you may remember me from such streams as Socialist versus Potato, Debate of the Titans, and Why Metal Gear made an entire generation gay, a seven-part video essay. That's amazing. We got a, com we got a completely different one. We got a completely different one. Uh, we had the other computer on, and it was doing the GLaDOS one, yeah. and here on the stream it was playing... Uh, uh, what's his name? Troy McClure. Troy McClure. He just said his name, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh well. There we go. All right. So, it is time for a little bit. All right. Audio, audio's up. We're good. Audio's on. Yep. Yeah. Right. I have literally not played a second of this. So, we are reacting to this in real time, folks. This is Think of this as video game riff tracks. I could smell this turd coming from nine miles away. When I saw the first trailer, I was like, this reeks so hard of Arcane Austin. Like, it just stinks to high heaven of Arcane Austin. Who, by the way, may be the most overrated studio in all of gaming. Well, we've already... Oh right my god, dude. Uh... Bro, before you talk, can I just hold on? Sorry, what? uh, video capture device is, needs to be reset because it's not. We already run into our first bug. So, uh, give us a second here to fuck with this. That works too. Hey, there it is. <laughs> fucking thing it worked before the second we started the stream it stopped working what the fuck well it's whatever i know we actually encountered a bug even before that taryn there's fucking input lag on the menu there's input lag on the menu taryn as i'm moving this icon up and down there's like a, a fucking half second to wait <laughs> I can't even describe it. It's like it's like muddy on the menu. <laughs> we are off to a fucking roaring start, folks. Uh, okay, so Texas. The power of the Series X. I know, dude. And guys, this is a fucking Xbox exclusive. <laughs> like this is this is made for this console. So before we begin, did you happen to see the See the Xbox there we go. interview with uh, what's his name? They're talking about Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer talking about Redfall, talking about and Jedi how was abortion, talking about uh, Jedi Survivor, like bugs at launch, laggy speeds, 30 FPS loss. Which Jedi Survivor is a thing across all platforms. It's been bad. It's just the console version of Jedi Survivor that's bad. This is bad on Series X, and it's a terrible, terrible, terrible occurrence. 
Because this is an exclusive. There's no excuse. All right, here we go. Uh, let me make sure all the chats are working. Hello, unauthorized. Hello, D Live. Shit. Okay, so you get to pick. Oh my god. <laughs> and hello. Twitch? Oh, shit. Her graduate school plant. Fucking fuck. Yeah, she looks like she's a college student. She looks like she'll be a college student for the next nine years. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Just look at this cast, dude. Just look at this fucking cast. The most masculine person on the team is a chick, because that's the law. The most feminine person on the team is a dude. Yep. Because <laughs> that's the law. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's an internet famous cryptid hunter. Dude. 9 11. <laughs> Can we. You know what? We need to read these bios and fully appreciate the fuckery at play, okay? You can create a hero, apparently. I'm sure that works completely as intended with no glitches whatsoever. Jacob moves like a ghost. After years working as a special forces sniper, he flipped to corporate contracts working with Bellwether Security. That gig eventually brought him to Redfall, where an encounter with one of the vampire gods, I hate vampire god encounters, I mean, my god, uh, left him with strange powers and a ghostly raven companion. Growing up as a foster kid, Jacob is used to tough situations, but the conniving vampires on the island will test his limits. <laughs> this reads like somebody created a D&D &D character in junior high school. <laughs> like, my guy is named Raven Kill Dude. <laughs> when you meet him, he's posing dramatically in front of fire with a period appropriate trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> Layla. Oh, this is going to be a winner. Layla's mind is a telekinetic weapon. <laughs> <clears throat> she came to Redfall to attend the local university, but after volunteering for a shady medical study by Pfizer, uh, Avum Therapeutics, she emerged with some of the vampire's amazing psychic abilities, although none of their appetite for blood. <laughs> Her graduate school plan was to study vascular mechanics so she could learn why people are dying suddenly. On the way to a biomed degree, all in the name of helping people. Now, thanks to her special powers, Layla. <laughs> everyone's like a, everyone's got the special powers going on. Layla finds herself in a desperate struggle to save the remaining survivors living in the shadows of Redfall. <laughs> So what is the, what are these powers? Translocate. That, that that's not her hair. It's an elaborate network of nerves that right. give her her mind powers. <laughs> she had to go out and get her brain did. He's an internet famous cryptid hunter and ghost. Wait, hold on, his name's Devinder Crowsley. Right. From his home in the UK, he spent years documenting the weird and the hidden. After visiting Redfall to promote his latest book, Like a Mothman to the Flame, Dev finds himself... Tr Who wrote this shit? Who the fuck wrote this shit? Seriously, if you wrote this, please hide. Just leave the human race. Please vac actually go back, get back in your mother's womb. Dev finds himself trapped with no way to stream to his eager fans. <laughs> relying on his eccentric you know he's one of those people that you run into while playing an online shooter with TTV in his profile and like 15 subscribers <laughs> like the actual streamers are trying to hide they don't put TTV in their name there are two people watching his stream and one of them is him no, right <laughs> his mother's repeatedly oh you're doing fantastic Devinder uh, relying on his eccentric inventions to confound... Okay, we got it. Donatello does machines. Gotcha. Remy uh, De La Rosa, who is the result of someone watching Aliens one too many times, 
Remy is dedicated her life to rescuing people from disaster zones and scissoring, though vampires are admittedly a new twist. As a combat engineer with a degree from MIT, is anybody here not, like, Ivy League educated? <laughs> are you noticing a theme here? <laughs> and, and ironically, everyone who made this fucking game went to some shitty community college and fucking some game design course in Austin, Texas, you fucking clowns. There's there's no fucking crazy homeless person. Yes. There's no, like, right? dude off the street. No, they're all from college. Fresh out of college, they're all special. Right. All of them are special. They are all special. They, honestly, dude, have one of these people put their hand up in the air and shout, Earth, wind, fire, water, heart, go planet. Literally, that's what this is. These are the fucking planeteers. She and her prototype robot, Bribon, What's the Spanish word for robot, you fucking retard? We're an obvious choice to train Coast Guard personnel in Redfall on bot-assisted search and rescue. <laughs> a lot like Arcane's Twitter feed. As the eldest in her family, Remy sees herself as a protector, the one to rely on. El robot, <laughs> that's that's Spanish. For right? <laughs> Sorry. The sapphic wonder will use her technical expertise and everything at her disposal to try to help those trapped on the island or in the closet. Except the bloodsuckers. All right, so those are our choices, <laughs> if you call those choices. and You're going to want the sniper, I bet. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Deadeye. Well, let's uh, create hero. Select here. Okay, so... Wow, that's retarded. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So, play game, difficulty, dusk. We'll go difficulty. What is that? Midnight. It's a total eclipse. Okay. We'll do dusk. Okay, we'll do fucking Altair here. That's creating your hero? Really? So there is no custom hero. You it just pick one. In Redfall is my fault. It's a lot of people's fault, dear. I think it used to be a nice town. Are you sure? When I first got here, I thought I could help. They said one drop of my blood could change everything. <laughs> Free people. One drop from of Magic sickness. Johnson's blood could change a lot of Maybe things. Maybe from death. A world where nobody was left out. Cups overflowing. Rivers of living water. <laughs> <laughs> I was a fool. They were monsters. They, they told us it was just 14 days to slow the spread. Everything. Now, something evil is swallowing. Mask up for the vampire pathogens. When the people here realized what was going on, it was already too late. <laughs> the folks are at each other's throats. Gang! They're begging the monsters to spare them. These animated uh, cutscene thingies that are kind of like barely animated. Wait if you're not looking glass studios them. and the game isn't thief, don't do it. Don't do it. Some tried to get away. To a cruise ship? But the monsters who started all this weren't having it. Weren't having it! There's nowhere to go. <laughs> Look at these fucking people! Nobody ever believes Look at these goofs! <laughs> they got on the ferry looking like that? Right! It's too late. But first, we stopped for 25 minutes so Bufa Shaquanetta could fucking frizz her hair. There are people she had to warm up her hot comb. Back. Sorry, it's Lubabonti Quanda. There's just one thing standing in their way. A whole town full. Whole town of full of vampires. The power of Bud Light. Ah! Why did their eyebrows go away? What is it like a Whoopi Goldberg vampire virus, or? My favorite description of Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Have you heard Nick DiPaolo talk about Whoopi Goldberg? No. He called. <laughs> ah! 
He calls her a beanbag chair with dreads. <laughs> <laughs> Nick DeFollow is the fucking man. <laughs> All right. All right. Why do they have to float? Hey, if you could float everywhere, you would. They're like the bad guys from Dark City, I guess. Like a really shitty Vampire the Masquerade fanfic or something. So, like Bloodlines 2, in other words. <laughs> imagine if if the black chick became a vampire. Imagine how long her talons would be. Working at the DMV. Imagine her trying to type. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hasharifa. You can't walk away from me. No one can. You all belong to us. The others want you dead. Anyone watching this in danger of giving a fuck about the plot yet? Anyone? Turning into a vampire turns you into Kate Moss. You will never see the sun again. From the people who brought you prey, here's another overrated piece of shit. I said it! All right. Oh, that motion! Oh my God, dude, the delay I on even. Team okay. Well, there's still daylight. Look at that delay, dude. Oh my God, guys, you, you aren't seeing what I'm seeing. You're not seeing me use the controller. I'm holding it up, dude. But the delay. It's like a. I have to say at least point two seconds. It's like half a second at least. Like, and and that goes for the menu too. Actually, you know what? Hold up. Uh, go back into the game. Yeah. Hold the controller up to the microphone so right. people can hear you. Oh, yeah, hit, yeah, yeah. Let me see if side. you can hear it. Let me see if you can hear it. <laughs> you hear that click? That's the joystick <laughs> hitting the side. <laughs> what Maybe you should try getting a job. Turd! What a fucking turd! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, can I turn this fucking motion blur off? This is like glaucoma vision. Oh my god. So please turn the motion blur off. Can you turn it off all the way? Good. Watch, here comes the screen tearing, though, now. Calibrate display, we're fine. This piece of shit allows you to change the field of oh, view. Oh, yeah, that's why they have the motion blur on. That's why it's on high. You see in that frame rate? Like a fucking flip book. For those of you wondering, no, we did not pay money for this. No, no, no. It's we have on game, game Pass. It's on Game Pass, so I was like, dude, we gotta take the, sh the piss out of this. <clears throat> Two dozen souls confirmed and ready to evac the hell off this island. Most unarmed, a few wounded rendezvous just after midnight. I'll give the countersign before we... Board. Okay. Michael I think, Tynan. I think I'd prefer getting waterboarded. Michael Tynan, thank you for that 50. He says, mock away. Thank you, we will. <laughs> we already have. Well, now that we have your permission. All right. <laughs> no, but thank you. Oh, my God. The, de the input delay, bro. This is going to take so much getting used to. It makes you want to, like, move your head really slow. Need to stock up on medical supplies. No telling what else is out here. And it's been a little while since I played a first-person game on controller, too. Because I'm such a PC fiend. So even that takes some getting used to. 
Missing child poster. Help, my son is missing. Name, Hunter Biden. Age, 50... I mean, sorry. Evan Rose. Last of the S9 episode, Terran. Is there a changeling cancer? Section 31 enters the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I disgraced your ancestors. <laughs> Do you think the Section 31 seeds were already a thought by then? I think once they got into Julian Bashir being into spy stuff, I think that started to be... I think they started to think of, well, what could we do with that? And so they start out with, in our man Bashir, him being basically James Bond and shit, which is a great fucking episode if you guys haven't seen it. Um... And I think that's when the germ of the idea really starts. Also, at the beginning of that episode, if you remember... 9-11 If you remember, 9-11 was an inside... I mean, what? Um, but Bashir, at the very beginning of that, was, like, not taught... He, he, everyone was talking about their parents, and he, like, kept avoiding talking about his family. Right. Which was a great bit of foreshadowing that you don't notice until it's later. It's very subtle. Really, man... That ain't right. Bashir, a lot of people take the piss out of Bashir. He's my favorite character on the show because he gets to evolve. He has a really good character arc. All right, let's see here. Matt Hammond, how did this game get greenlit? We were discussing this, actually. How does a Left 4 Dead clone get greenlit? And when was this, like, 2022, 2021? Yeah. Like, when this got fucking greenlit? Like, what? It makes you wonder if it didn't start out as a different concept and then that wasn't working, so they changed to, well, we could just copy Left 4 Dead. That'll work. He continues, how many people were involved in that intro? Two people over a weekend. Oh, my God. And they call me Cordy. We're off to a great start. Right. In case of emergency, throw your copy of this fucking game out the window. Go to car, grab the gun and ammo in the glove compartment. All right, I'm with you so far. Don't yes, I have a gun, and I'm sorry I didn't asshole. tell you. What kind of fucking fruity town is this that you have to hide your gun ownership? Richard Slammer. More bad news on the Whoopi Ooh. Goldberg front. Somehow she He's got fat. a comic... She's also fat. Somehow she got a comic book at IDW. What? Post-menopausal superpowers. No, I'm not kidding. Wish I was. You have not seen that? No. You left wing. How do you get out of here? here? You expect me to sit here and listen to your Can you dribble? open this door? You can't open this door? Okay. Oh, I'll look around for some fucking way to get the fuck out of here. This won't open. I need the fairy deck key. Corsair loved the new depths of DS9, but the Cajun accents were all wrong, Hollywood. Uh, sorry, Hollywood has never gotten our accent right, ever. Then again. No skin for them, neither. Tommy Wiseau is from New Orleans, so what do I know? <laughs> I'm fed up with this stream. Everybody's betrayed me. It. 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 What? What is that? Is that supposed to be water? Is. It are these fucking jello jigglers? Is fucking Bill Cosby gonna pop out of a fucking door here with a fucking roofy colada or what the fuck? Wait, is the Is that magic? Or is are it just bad supposed, graphics? Are we supposed to These are like three sixty euro graphics, by the way. Here. Hold on, hold on. Are we trying to like imply like the ship is tilted and that's supposed to be water? That's what I'm wondering! What the Is it is it disobeying the laws of it kinda looks like maybe we have some Water is not obeying the laws of physics thing. Ho I'm gonna be charitable in assuming that's what's going on. Oh, I think- Oh, yes, that's what's going on. Oh, yeah, 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 the vampires created no, a wall of water. No, okay. okay. That's what gotcha. happened. I was like, what? But yeah, those water effects are some shit. Go those are some shit right there, bro. Go back to the classic comparison of like, this modern game, and then, like, Silent Hill 3. Yeah! PS2. Or even Silent Hill 2! Alright, handgun. Firearm. That's more luck. The thing everyone who developed this game would like you not to be able to own. 
It's stylized. Sure it is. Phantom Kitsune Zero, thank you for the 20. While I was hoping for a Razor Gonk Arcade, <laughs> I suppose watching you play this dumpster fire will be funny enough. Yeah, we'll go back to playing good games next week. I was thinking maybe episode one Racer, you think? Have my shekels as I just got paid. Hey, good for you. Got speed. TR, the WGA has led to the fall of the entire left's media apparatus. Also, this game makes Garten of Banban look like a fresh idea. I did not find the fairy deck key. Oh, dude, you can you can take the fucking tutorial away now. Fuck. Hold B, damn it. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? Am I the only one who heard that? <laughs> like a fucking. <laughs> Abdulio, apparently Disney on? demanding Deserves. their writers. Deserves got nothing to do with it. Oh, poor fishy. Poor fish. And it's a tuna. No act of God. Black sun. <laughs> apparently Disney demanding their writers return to work despite strike and union union retaliation. Okay, here we go. Ah. What the hell are they up to? Is it a different? Is it a different? It's a looter. It's a looter shooter. <laughs> now, if I were only playing as the black chick, I could get away with the looting. Scene. To this day, I still wonder how people can actually say that Arcane is a good studio. It blows my mind. Dishonored, even Dishonored, which is fun, is not the game that they promised it would be. Dishonored 2 is slightly better, but still pretty bad. And Prey is one of the most overrated games ever. We streamed it live. Don't fucking cry and piss your fucking britches. That game sucks ass. Rally. Hi, Razor. I know you're a big Looking Glass Studios fan uh, and Thief fan and uh, wanted to know why you don't like System Shock 2. What? I love System Shock 2. What? Are you out of your mind? Did you not watch our retrospective? Yeah, we did a full <laughs> retrospective. I, I do prefer, I think of the two, my favorite is System Shock 1. That's true. But, uh, but I love them both. Oh my god, did you see that fucking shat? Look at that fucking shadow. Look at that fucking shit! That's interesting. It's like fucking... It's, it's like NES pixelation! Holy shit, bro. Next gen as fuck. Josh, what's... How, how many fucking dozens of gigabytes is the update for this gonna be? It's gonna be... I'm calling it right now. It's going to be the same size as the game. It's going to be a complete replacement. <laughs> this is a 70 gigabyte game, by the it's way. It's going to be like 68 then. Uh, Josh, what's the worst game you've ever played? This. Worst game? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's some good gunplay right there. <laughs> God damn. Hip fire any good? Oh man. I shouldn't leave the body lying around. Yeah, try and heal. Also, the it's nice that you're doing a game about vampires, so the uh, That's bodies will eventually turn into ash and disappear. Right. Oh no, old. they're sticking around. Uh, these are humans, I think. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're just humans. assholes. That's these great. Are humans. Do they have uh, shotguns that I can loot, or do they just evaporate into thin air? Lance Corporal Hawk. It's... Okay, I have shotgun ammo, but I can't get their shotguns. It appears. It's sad when the water in Sea of Thieves looked better upon release. Also, the Nicolas Cage Dracula movie somehow looks more entertaining than this. Bro, Sea of Thieves is a more ambitious game on every level than this. Looks better, better performance. 
less celebrated studio than Arcane by a lot. I just... You almost feel for Bethesda getting snookered by uh, purchasing these fucking idiots. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Can I discard this? The game, I mean? <laughs> Shadow Fox, thank you for the 20. I don't appear to be able to. Where's my fucking inventory options? <laughs> gonna... How do you drop shit? Dean... You're being expelled for using an AI to write your final. Student, that's bull. What makes you think I used an AI? Dean, you submitted a 5,000 word final oh. and every one of them, including your signature, was gonk. <laughs> uh, this is centipede. Okay, this is my main gun. Okay. This inventory is uh, looking pretty fucked up so far. I'm not sure what the fuck is going look on. Right. Just avoid it. Oh, as opposed to a perfectly organic, normal red mist. John Jackson, bit off topic for the stream, but wins the next music or metal mythos. You put me onto King Diamond and Alcatraz. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I'm uh, slowly working on a couple of big ones, so. That. Ah. Climb up the blocks here and my fucking fingerless hobo gloves. Medieval syphilis, do you have any real World War I memorabilia? If so, where did you find them? No, unless you count my Mauser pistol, which I don't know that it ever served in World War I. I have no idea, but uh, no, I do not. Error tap to reach. Oh, maybe. I mean, I do have a Monlicker M95. That probably did have... That probably was used in World War I. Error tap to retry. What are your top five Saxon songs? Top five Saxon songs. Wheels of Steel. Oh. 9-11. Okay, so there's a little bit of a... Sh <laughs> Shall we see how shitty the stealth is? I mean, if Dishonored is any indication. I have high hopes indeed. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, but let's see... I'd go <clears throat> Wheels of Steel, Dallas 1 p.m. And Lionheart. I like Lionheart a lot. Cult of Personality, am I the only one that remembers the 2006 Prey game? We all do. We're never gonna get, gonna get that Prey sequel. Oh, never. Especially the more people make fucking nine-hour video essays about what a misunderstood masterpiece the fucking... Vanilla bitch version of fucking System Shock was. TR, Razor Terran, what's the worst book to movie adaptation you've seen? <clears throat> book to movie? Yeah. There's some bad Stephen King ones. Um. Aragon would have to be up there. And uh, what would be the best? Maybe, like, I, I mean, you would immediately think of something like Lord of the Rings. I, that's the first one. Return to Oz is the first one that comes up. That's the only Oz movie that feels like it's based on the actual books. It's really like a pretty direct adaptation of Ozma of Oz, The Road to Oz, and um, The Land of Oz. Whoa! Ooh. That's like. Are you seeing this, folks? That's like PS2. You oh, there not. it is. There it is. <laughs> you see the holy fuck? Holy shit! It's like Biden trying to finish a sentence, loading textures in this fucking game. Listen here, Jack. You, oh, let's let's give this one some time. Hey, listen here, you know, you know, 
That, you know, the, 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 come on. It's not going to load in. Load in! Load in! Holy fucking shit, this guy! Holy shit! Dude! Dude! What a mess! What a fucking mess! Jesus Christ! Imagine paying actual money for this detritus. They call me Cordy. Since they, it's a looter shooter, make sure you go burn down the auto zone for justice. Right, exactly. I was thinking about setting fire to a local police station in the name of justice, I guess. Stealing a bunch of gold watches from Kay's jewelers in the name of fucking reparations. Then I was uh, planning to get bailed out by Kamala Harris and Biden's uh, criminal fund later. Imagine paying $70. Oh, man, this is so hard with the input lag. Any idea how hard it is to, like, line up a shot when every time you push the stick, there's, like, a half-second delay before the fucking camera moves. You got them all. Lampshade, this trash looks like Brink. Remember Brink? <laughs> no. <laughs> look, at the, look at this guy. This is, like, the only guy having a good time right now. At least his pain is over. <laughs> Ours is just beginning, Razor Force. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. Look at the bright side. At least you get to die. Jeff Shots, thank you for the 20. And, and you know what the hilarious part is? Tonight so I dine on turtle mm. soup. So I'm like looking up articles and shit, reviews and whatnot of this game. And the one thing that kept popping up was, the game is beautiful, but everything else is bad. Apparently the word beautiful means the exact opposite of what I think it means. What the fuck? What is beautiful about textures that take two and a half years to fucking load in? And even when they do, they look last gen? I honestly, that's kind of uncharitable to the Xbox One. They look last last gen. You can infiltrate the fire station in a number of ways. Uh, deal with the cultists and go in through the main garage. Climb up to the... Wow. So here's your scripted ways to get in. This, by the way, was the same problem I had with fucking Prey. It feels like nine different fucking scripted solutions, prefab solutions by the designers, rather than organic ways the player just experiments and gets something finished. That's uh, one of the things I really didn't like about Prey. See if you can break the game and just get out of the map. <laughs> right. You probably can, dude. This, w if there's going to be any game where you could just leave the fucking map because the level designers didn't know what the fuck they're doing. Oh, my God. I can't, dude, the delay. The fucking delay. This is a rare case where I'm thinking about turning motion blur on just to spare my eyes. Jeff Shots. Speaking of World War I memorabilia, I have my great-grandfather's World War I helmet, his medals, jacket, buttons, and boot covers. Nothing particularly fancy, but I still think they are pretty neat. That's cool. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, I didn't have any relatives, like living relatives, that I ever met that served in World War I. I had a couple of grandpas who were in the Army and Navy and one who was a Marine in World War II. That's better. Is that Nolan North? I mean, it's a game in 2023. Do I even need to ask? Do you have a flashlight already? Yes. Oh, damn it. I was going to sneak up behind him and... Oh, look, him. the bench covered your... Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Right in the dick! Razor fist, dick puncher. Seventy fucking dollars. Seventy dollars, gang. What is that? 
I'm tempted. I, I if people didn't re already know, I'm in direct control of the stream this time because he's uh, on the Series X. Yeah. I'm tempted ah! to just add text in the top right corner that just says seventy dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 90 Canadian. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Okay. Hiding. Oh, my God. Is there a lean? Can you... Oh, my God. Uh, this is why I asked about the flashlight. Come up behind him and just shine his flash flashlight at him. Ah! Keep Isn't doing it. On, off, on, off, on, off. Do it. Yeah, I didn't think they'd notice. Oh, well, there's your AI. Oh, holy shit! It's funny, too, because, like, Prey and Dishonored had these exact same problems with the AIs. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, that was at least a headshot. Whoa, 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 who's... Come on, bitch. Oh, headshot, okay. That was all right. You know, for a snipper... I sure don't have a sniper rifle. A sniper rifle would help a lot. I could I could fucking get headshots at fucking 20 FPS. Big Mike had just platinum spec ops the line this <sighs> evening. Average gameplay, but really thought provoking story. Did you ever play it? And if so, your I thoughts? I have it. I have never booted it up or played it. Isn't it just um, it's, it's Apocalypse hard Now it's hard slash uh, Heart of Darkness yeah, or whatever? Yeah, it's Heart of Darkness, kind of modern-ish. I guess you can light that up. Yeah, that's totally how bullets work. Nice fire effects, by the way. Look at that. Fuck, I think I saw that on the side of a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos. Look at that fucking cartoon fire effects. Jesus. I think Bam Bam Bigelow had that fucking on his tights. The only thing worse than cell shading is that in between. In between, oh, like, yeah. comic and, like, real life that this thing has going for it. Oh, dude. And this, this fucking thing, this game has a huge budget, too. Like, there's no excuse. This game had, a like, the defense budget of the nation of Israel. Rifleman Morrowind was ten times smaller than this. Better looking, too. <laughs> it looks like there's bars on And that. it ran smoother. There, no shit. On the Xbox. <laughs> yeah. The console version of fucking Morrowind, which is pretty infamous for having low frame rates. All right. I need to... Blake, I got my grandpa's <sighs> World War II service pistol. He passed down his Luger right before he went to court. Good guy he was. Oh. I get it. He passed down his Luger right before he went to court. I don't know what that means. Which side used Lugers? Oh, right. <laughs> Think about it. Well, I mean, I just thought it was a bring back. Wee Jock Poopong McPlop. Do you like Anthrax? Uh, one of my favorite infectious diseases. Lance Corporal Hawk. I wouldn't pay money for this game. I will, however, pay... Okay, there's no, like, silent takedown. That's gay. Pay for your reactions to this hilarity. Oh! Also, T, previous super chat about GOTB. Important this question. This place killed me yet. Well, as soon as I Did can Did the get guy say blood for the trance? What the, what the fuck does that even mean? Black Bull, how can Blood for the trends, man. How can you accelerate <laughs> the apocalypse? Give the Pittsburgh Pirates a winning season. All right, which is what they've got right now. It's blown my mind. Is that Shodan? What the fuck am I? All right. Got enough out of you. Is that, is that what a broken TV screen looks like? Really? Put a bullet through it. R&B. You all right in there? Yes. Hello? We're in here. Are you... Are the cultists still around? 
I can't open this door until they're gone. Or dead. Dead would be better. They cut the power on us. We've got wounded in here. And they got a blood sucker in the basement. They all answer oh. to it. You know you do something to or just stand there and bleed. <laughs> You're about to fight your first vampire. Oh, boy. Normal weapons can only temporarily wound a vampire, but cannot finish them off. You'll need a weapon equipped with a stake. Okay. With a well-done stake. I know. Is there a... You mean a stake, then? <laughs> steak, Liara. I fucking love steak. Look at that. God, the textures, bro. And, you know, people are going to bash the Series X for this, but this is not the Series X, gang. This is, this is arcane. Holy shit. RNB, Razor playing Dead Redfall. Oh. Jesus is coming soon. No, I don't Left like for Redfall. <laughs> <laughs> Overkill. This Half Life 2 mod needs more work. It <laughs> Wait, it, it's an actual retail game? $70? <laughs> <laughs> Written by adults and not 7th graders' first Vampire the Masquerade character sheet? Uh, debatable on the adults. Lampshade, most underrated Marvel character. Colossus. That's fair. Ghost of Recon, how long does it take you to write your rants? And would you like a poster of a space pick that I took? Um, no, that's all right. But thank you for offering. <laughs> okay. Um, and I, I generally just put an outline together. I don't, I don't, uh... I don't script my rants, I use bullet points. Uh, and it usually doesn't take very long. It's more so the prelude to it, because the way that I put the bullet points together is that I kind of... <clears throat> I'll be doing, like, chores or fold laundry or something and kind of be thinking through different ideas and stuff, and I'll come up with a bit or a joke or a, Hey, shotgun with a stake on it. And, uh... And I, I'm basically kind of each each bit will become kind of a uh, a bullet point basically, and then I just write a bullet point down that makes me remember that bit. That's basically how I do it. So it doesn't take very long. It's just it's more so the prelude that takes a little while, and that might take a few hours. It might just take uh, you know less than an hour. It might take a couple of days. It just kind of depends. All right. Redfall Firefighters. Thank you for letting our third grade class visit you. We had so much fun. <laughs> All right. Third impact. With the HOTUS and VR, have what you ever... What kind of fucking sight is that on a shotgun? Really? Have you ever tried DCS? Yes! I love it. Uh, we've streamed it. it. When they came out with the uh, F-14 yeah, Tomcat the F I was going to say the F-14, the, uh, yeah. We did the F-14. I uh, got actually a, a an actual real-life replica of an F-18 Hornet flight stick. A fucking beautiful. Oh, my God. It's fucking amazing. We need to do more VR. We need to do that in VR, yes. You guys would really... It would be... That is the most... That's the only reason VR should exist, is flight sims, <laughs> honestly. Because you could actually look around the cockpit and press all the individual buttons, and, like, it's so fucking badass. Um, can I or should I save, or is it going to autosave? Okay, uh, it kind of got me into working on my PPL at 24 hours now. I was thinking it would be kind of cool on. if there was a Razor Force a DCS server of some kind. I don't know how many people would, I mean, be yeah. inter be interested. I don't know how many people uh, even play D DCS that are uh, members of the Razor Force. But let us let us know. I play DCS all the fucking time. All the fucking time. It's one of my favorite things. I've played Flight Sims. Worst stream ever. Right? I play, <laughs> I've played Flight Sims for years. They're a blast. Zedekai, Street okay, Fighter. Was it, was it that power junction thing that I uh, ran past earlier, or is it inside somewhere? Okay, 
The civilians are up there. Where's the other objective marker leading me to? Street Fighter Six has got the same stylistic realism as this train wreck and is just another reason I hate it. <laughs> Good point. Or maybe is it something up here? No. Big iron deficiency. <laughs> Any thoughts on Dead Island 2 getting sent to the Shadow Realm? Sorry, I mean the Epic Store. I I would have streamed it by now, but I am not giving Epic my fucking money. It's not happening. So fuck them. I'm kind of surprised it didn't come to Game Pass. Like, you would think Microsoft would be able to pay we him a We do a little a trolling. Money. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. Right. You would think Microsoft would be able to pay him more, but uh, Epic apparently still has some shekels to hand out. What's that Fortnite money? You kidding? Cigar2, thank you for subbing for 16 months. Very much appreciated. Sumo Orange. So uh, what was that here? long, boring m monologue telling us? What is this story? Ugh. All I saw was I the... I can't describe to you guys how hard it is to just control your character. Like, it's... It, it's fucking... It's like trying to wade through fucking molasses. The, the delay. All I saw was the NIH holding a kid in a cell. Nothing new there. <laughs> and some okay. weird vampire alien lady that already has her rule 34, probably. <laughs> Okay, you can slide down the pole, but I was already in here, so. Rewire wire kit, maybe? Steak launcher ammo! <laughs> uh, sumo orange again. Alright, well. Which is more open, the Mexican border or Amy Schumer's legs? Yikes! What do you call a baby rhino that's falling down a hill? I don't know. Ron DeSantis. Oh. <laughs> That's, That's pretty good. That's a shame and factual. That's pretty good. Okay. 9-11. It's, like it's like this electric junction, but I can't do anything with it. Uh, maybe it's on the roof or something. Maybe I missed it. Good level design. Here, Going to the, the basement, In people the basement. are saying. Uh, Matt Cop story time. Thank you for the 20. Razor, I suffer from indecision and don't know what game to play to <laughs> the end at the moment. Yeah. You have a, he has a Series X. Help me. And also, which action stars movies should I binge right now? To the end, uh, play Hitman 3. It's on Series X, and it's really, really good on Series X. That was the whole reason I got a Series X, was so I could play that at launch. And I'm uh, glad I did. It's a, I, I think it's the best Hitman game in a long, long, long time. And what action stars movies should he binge? Fucking, are you even asking? Fucking Bronson. Bronson. What the fuck? Oh, here's the vampire. Oh, fuck. How do you... Oh, what God. The, oh, man, you have no idea how hard it is to hit things when there's this much delay. Uh... Oh my god. Jesus. Let's all those numbers pop up like it even matters. Oh, okay. Yuck. Ugh, listen to that music. Okay. I like how all modern hip-hop has devolved into a dude on fucking lean, mumbling in front of a sprinkler. Alrighty! Let's do it! Do it! Why do I get the feeling that Dev's favorite movie is Hocus Pocus? And they've watched it like... Ten times. Is no that isn't that like the Stranger Things font? Oh man, that popcorn fucking texture. Oh yeah, they all love Stranger Things too. I bet. Yeah. Oh dude, you know that's what it is. 
I love 80s movies as interpreted through the lens of a shitty Netflix show. You end up in Japanese hell, a disgrace to your ancestors. I'm leaving that on. Well, why wouldn't you? Exactly. All right. Uh, now I can go upstairs and free the people I don't give a fuck about. Hooligan. I'm an OG simmer. Played DCS all the way back to when it was single player flanker. 1.0 so in 1995. Oh, yeah? I played Jane's Simulators 90... U.S. Navy Fighters 95... 6? Something like that? <laughs> I still have the box. I, I still have the big box copy of that on PC, actually. Wow, they really did skimp. They can't even Look animate. at their fucking, like, everyone looks like Gollum. They've got, like, big, floppy fucking Gollum hands. And What was the budget of this game? They don't even have motion capture. Like, oh, my God! Why would you show that? 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> What the shit? <laughs> yep, it's a pole. Oh, it's a UV light. Yeah. Better see who's running this okay. outfit. Yeah, wait. Because you be just happen to We've all we've yeah. all played we're Dying we're Light, dying. ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I, I feel like Dying Light was not a small inspiration for this game as well. And not the good Dying Light game. Dead in the water! Uh, push back the tennis blood, left with no escape, you made your way to the shore where you blah 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 blah. Okay, that was- you're summarizing what I just did? Thank you. Oh, I hate this soundtrack so much I could spit. Good luck out there. Ultraman ZX. Have you talked to Crowder about Michael Jackson? I don't know if he gets the truth or just likes MJ MJ Pedo jokes. What in the fuck? What is what are your proportions? What, did, what, did, what, did, what is this? What the fuck is this? And he's got fucking seriously? Really? Really? Lawyer, am I right? Did you see his fucking it. slippers? Crocs. You'd be the only one. I don't want to think about what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I speak for everyone when I say thank you. Uh huh. My name is Terence Hunt. I'm a doctor. Used to work at Redfall Regional. I'm taking care of everyone here, sick, injured, and everything in between. If you need medical supplies, come to me. But only take as much as you need. There are other people here who need help just as much as you took over the hospital almost immediately. Like they planned it. All right. I think that was Phil Lamar. I couldn't tell. I have the volume down kind of low, actually. I should turn it up. But uh, no, he has not talked to Crowder about Michael Jackson. No, I offered I would be totally willing to debate him on, on Michael Jackson, like I did with uh, Ethan Van Skyver and um, uh, Cecil a while back. Did a live debate of the Michael Jackson allegations. That was uh, a couple of years ago. And it was respectful. I, I, I love the shit out of Ethan Van Skyver and Cecil. So, you know, it wasn't a big... Uh, we didn't shit on each other or anything. It could be a respectful debate. I'd be willing to do it. But I think he just likes telling the jokes. I don't think he feels very strongly one way or another about it, honestly. Tried bull. How do you like your steak? And with what kind of gravy? I like it cooked. <laughs> I like it cooked, and I like it with... Mm, I'll try a little a one, just normal a one steak sauce every now and then. I like I like uh, I like to give a little steak sauce a try every now and then. Actually, you know I like steak sauce more with grilled like pork steaks. 
than I than That's I like good. it. Yeah, with, yeah, yeah. Than I do with beef. Yeah, it, uh, you don't like sweet meat, but uh, you don't you don't mind the uh, the the tang of yeah. like a, a good barbecue sauce. We're supposed to believe that a desensitized bear was responsible for what happened up on the mountain trails over Shade Tree Heights. Four young people, fitness freaks, were torn apart. Someone at the coroner's office said they were drained of blood. And now law enforcement's referring to this horror show as the recent tragedy. And guess what they're doing in response? I, I guess that didn't need a question mark at the end of the sentence. Uh, okay. Dude, the writers of this game. There are grammatical errors here. There's beyond the like elementary school fucking actual plot and the shitty intro. There's bad grammar in here and bad punctuation and all kinds. Of, who wants to bet that when they hired writers, they were a little less concerned with the actual ability level of the writers than they were with their representational status? What do you think? Anyone want to? Take fucking Vegas odds on that one. Anna and Joe Guns, you've already sold me. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, me too, babe. Jesus, my back is killing me. Acanthus, any interest in playing Alien Fire Team Elite? Best smart gun I've seen since the original AVP. It's a, it's a, wait, smart gun? Say yes. Joe. In uh, Alien Goodbye, Fire Joe. Team Elite. Any interest in playing it? What's a smart gun? The the the, the big thing. Uh, I don't know what he's referring to. To the the big rifle that they would hold. Oh right. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I haven't played it. Taryn has. Yeah, it's Taryn has. It's fun. Um, it's impressive that that is that studio's first game. It's done really well. How is there not fucking isolation sequel yet? Dude. Oh, didn't you know there was? They, they made a mobile phone game. They, they, I mean, you got a mobile phone, right? That fucking game sold. That game sold really, really well. It's what still, the fuck? Are, do you guys hate money? It was made in 2014. We are approaching that game's 10-year anniversary. <laughs> and it's still boss. You could play it tomorrow. You Alien could Isolation play it tomorrow, exactly. and it would... Blow this shit out of the water. It certainly would, dude. Um, so they they claim this is a gun store, but there doesn't appear to be any way to. Uh, you, you can't talk to anybody. I don't. Or? They don't have anything to say. He just says, "Uh, and what?" Maybe you have to do a mission or something. And for, she I just don't know. complains about her aching back. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? Oh. God. Jacob, right? What am I well, even looking at? I'm glad you're on our the side. The fucking pixie boots oh. and the fucking My name is Reverend Eva. Nice to meet you. Uh-huh. Sorry it couldn't be under better circumstances. We're I'm going to I'm going to take a wild time. guess Episcopal. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I do the organizing around here. Uh, just roll on the Setting dice there. Supply runs, scavenging, getting people to safety. Yeah, yeah. This is very interesting. I'm gonna upgrade my skills instead of talking to you. Oh my god, she's still talking. She's fucking jabbering! She was fucking jabbering over my skill screen! Scabrous wretch. If these were still alive when pre Musk Twitter was still around, who would have the most based takes and get insta banned? Who? Michael Jackson, Lemmy, or Charles Bronson? Lemmy would have been canceled fifteen times over by now. True. Wearing the 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 fucking Nazi memorabilia and uniforms. In and order, it would be. They Lem tried to cancel him during his life a little bit, but it wasn't that bad because he died in 2015. In order, it would be Lemmy, Charles Bronson, and Michael Jackson. Yeah, That's yeah. the order they'd be uh, Although they certainly tried to cancel Michael Jackson for a lot of the things that he said, too. Because he was very socially conservative on a lot of stuff. He was super anti-abortion. Uh, okay, there we go. Hostman Socrates. Razor, I know you're a big fan of the PS4. What's the best game to play on it? <laughs> uh, we just mentioned one. Alien Isolation's really good. Very good. 
Um, as far as like an actual exclusive, you probably wouldn't want to play it on PS4. You'd probably want to play the enhanced edition on the PS5, the frame rate above 10 FPS edition. But uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, that's a good choice. It's fucking terrible performance on PS4. Just a dude. Also, whose run on Red Sonia is the best? Uh, run on Red Sonia? I don't really know. I've recently binged a bunch of Red Sonia. Wow, there is a turning point for that comic. When Gail Simone jumps on. My God. Yeah. She, she is, the she's entire character terrible. changes. God, she becomes she. some, like, I want to die, I just want to kill things kind of, like, self-destructive character. Mm. Like, before the 2000s, I want to say, like, it's, like, classic adventuring. Uh-huh. And, like, she's it's- out, you know, living life and doing good deeds and killing bad guys. And it's, like, like when the 2000s hit, she just becomes, like, I, wa- I just want to go ahead and say she becomes a fucking monster. <laughs> Those did you ever watch the animated movie they did? Animated movie, we'll no. There. Yeah, Dynamite Studios put out an animated Red Sonja movie. No. Yeah, the, around the time Marvel and DC started doing animated shit, it was like the only one they did. I was really bummed. It must not have done that well, because they wound up never making one of anything else, right? It seemed like they were leading up to a whole animated universe of Dynamite stuff, which could have been cool, because who else did Dynamite have the rights to at the time? Fucking The Shadow. Right. We could have gotten a fucking animated Shadow movie. Don't it would have been awesome. But um, that Red Sonja movie, which was based on fucking Gail Simone shit, was so bad that uh, I guess nobody fucking bought it. I don't know if it was a motion comic or full-blown animation, but yeah, it came out a few years ago. The Gord King. Redfall is the build back better of games. <laughs> Good hunting out there. What is it leading me to? Okay, Okay. Talk to Anna. Okay. Ultraman ZX, hey, Razor, would you I'll ever... talk to Anna Kasparian and her suspiciously tight fucking ponytail. Would you ever consider doing a video on what you'd do for a game based on your stories? Like your old Elric game speculation video. Like a uh, Let's Pitch? Yeah, yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool. Although, I think I'd be more interested in seeing what other people's ideas were for a game based on some of my, uh... I guess I have IP now. <laughs> so, some of my IP. <laughs> I do. Ghost of the Badlands and uh, Night Vale, which is kind of cool. Um, She's down here somewhere. Private Parts, thank you for I subbing think maybe for seven she's months. Downstairs. Hey, Razor, I recently got the Classic Thief trilogy oh, okay. and completed the first. Nice. Loved it. Oh, man, the first game is so classic. You're going to love Thief 2. Um, the fucking Deadly Shadows divides opinions, but I love it. I love Deadly Shadows. Uh, and you can stop there because there is no fourth game. Sumo Orange. My mom nine months before I was born. Baby, pull up. D- Dad, no, it's all right. It's all right. Ah! <laughs> huh. Oh, I see. Hi. The the pregnant bitch. Okay, gotcha. Heron, thank you for Jacob, subbing for huh? 17 months. God What's fucking speak. AI? Don't ask. Well, we owe you one. I'm Anna. And this is what my What happened to your Joe. face? You ran into one of those creeps, yeah? So yeah, you're just getting fatter. Stake to the heart. Makes them pop like a firework. That's still like the but best balloons, pitch I've ever heard, by the way, gunman. for an actress getting pregnant while shows going this on. This free, but you got to earn the guns out of my just stash. A second. Sorry. She's not When sorry. this pan-faced <laughs> fucking slag is done talking. Sorry. Anyway, nice to meet you. Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> No, that's the best pitch I've ever heard. So in, like, twice when Seinfeld was going on, Elaine's actress, uh, what's her name? 
I forget her name. Oh, yeah. Uh, Elaine. Uh, <laughs> Elaine got fucking pregnant. She got pregnant twice. And they the first time they had to hide it and whatever, and they did it pretty well. You don't really notice unless you know. And, uh... Can you believe this shit? They fucking talk over your menu. Anyways. So she gets pregnant, like, twice. She gets pregnant once, and they hit it. It was fine. Whatever. Then the fucking... She gets pregnant again. And this time, Larry David, like... Wait a minute, okay? I've got an idea for you. Are you ready for this? Uh. Instead of getting pregnant, and instead of us hiding it, we'll just write a storyline where Elaine gets really fucking fat. <laughs> <laughs> And she started crying. <laughs> but it's a genius idea, dude. It would have been brilliant. They should have done that. It would have been fucking hilarious. Oh, shit. Matthew Pickard. Okay. Tears and Rain is Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> I've seen things that show people... One belief. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Matt Cops Story Time. Would you ever do a video dedicated to the 2003 TMNT series? Do a what? A video. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. I love that show. Yeah, we're both fans. Don't know how all this started. Don't care. Neither do the writers. When we got here, things were already a hair shy of Halloween. Dead empty streets. Secret fires. Things creeping in the windows. Made contact on the second day. I got hit hard and drug off. Lights out. Lots of blood with this freak ass bird in my grill. In my grill? I'd just as soon be in hell with my back broke. But it ain't up to me. I can't go back to Bell with her. No one's coming to help me. God, these what the fuck? Ugh. A few dozen of us tried getting off the island on that ferry. The damn bloodsuckers killed the sun, and pushed back the ocean. Supposed to be a few places we can check for some. The supplies. Bible has a much better plot. Ain't nothing left to do but cut out and grab some gear. Maybe save some idiots in the process. I'm done talking. Let's go. <laughs> wow! Are we gonna customize our hero? Is this how this go? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh, it just took a while to load up. There you go. Oh my lord. Whoa. Okay. We have a different outfit, do we? Mercenary. Oh my god, look at this fucking twink. What the fuck? Is your waist supposed to be that high? <laughs> like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> if the proportions of like the co the original concept art to Final Fantasy VII, right? <laughs> <laughs> their his waist is as big as his head. Their waist like starts at their sternum. Holy shit, dude. John Horn, when Jane Levy's got pregnant in Frasier, they wrote her as getting fat. Oh, yeah? Jeg's Dino God, wait. So this game isn't about forest animals going on fun, action-filled, swashbuckling adventures? Just hipster, a-hole vampires? I want my money back. That was a Red Wall reference. Yes. Open windows or I 
randomly ask because I'd like to jump out the fucking top floor of this building and end it all. Primark Vulcan. If you have seen them, thoughts on the movie and... Not the first time he's greased a pole, I reckon. Yeah. Thoughts on the movie and series Alien Nation. Never watched it. I watched it as a kid. I thought it was good. All right. That was Bellwether. That was Bellwether. Fastest way to find supplies. Your children crying out for me. I need you here, and you need me to be well. Yeah, this is brought you down from the sky. A little I more similar to Dying Light than I thought it would be. Man. With the mantling and kind of the. Slight parkour stuff. Me, it'll take more than that. Opinionated junkie X bots are calling for Phil Spencer to be fired. Why? This is not his fault. Yeah, this is not his fault at all. In fact, I think he said, like, really the problem was we sort of. Tr I mean, he basically said he put it on himself in the uh, interview that I read. Where he was saying, like, uh, you know, we probably could have made more clear what did it what did he say it was so passive aggressive toward arcane just making shitty games it was brilliant what did he say we probably should have made more clear what represents a proper xbox exclusive <laughs> what a roundabout way of saying you done fucked up arcane you released a half-finished piece of shit. I feel the power like flowing. Phil. I, I don't know how you feel. I feel like Phil Spencer is like the least offensive of the CEOs of the different companies. Oh, no, no. All the people who run Sony come across as like asshole, fat-ass suits. And, um, well, Nintendo's okay. But, I mean, Doug Bowser's all right. I, I, I've but got... Phil Spencer just seems like a kind of a... Ran just a regular dude. Yeah, I've got nothing against him, and this is clearly not his fault. Nah. You're gonna end up in Japanese hell. A disgrace <laughs> to your ancestors. I feel the power th flowing through me. Everyone Someone there. was there. Everywhere is an invisible wall. Oh my god. So annoying with this fucking input lag. Fuck. I could use some cover. Oh shit, vampire. That's not good. I didn't see you. Oh, that's not good. That's better. Fuck you, David Boreanis. Oh man. Fucking I got killed by fucking angel. Get killed by fucking controller. Lag. He's literally dressed like Angel from fucking Buffy. All right, I did get. It was. It's like you're shooting. It's hard to explain. So you've got an enemy who's strafing left and right and ducking and shit, and then you have a half second delay every time you push the fucking stick oh. to look to the left and right. Wait. Are you seeing the problem here? Wait for a second. Uh, for the people just joining yes. us. For the people just right. joining. Oh, uh, wait. No, no. Do it in the game. Do it in yeah. the game so people understand. Yeah. When you hear the click, that's his joystick hitting the very left and the very right. Do oh, let it. me get outside first. Because it's kind of loud. Stupid, and... shitty music. Stop playing. All right, oh, listen. Nope. The shitty music's still playing. Shut the fuck up, music. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> That's how long it takes you to fucking turn. We're talking like 0.2 to 0.3 microseconds, like. Oh my god. Oh my click, god. Click move. Every click, time you hear the move. click, that's when I'm I'm pressing it. The delay is just fucking insane, guys. It's fucking insane. 
and imagine getting in a gunfight and somebody's strafing left and right on you and you're trying to fucking put your gun on them. It's insane. Dylan Adler, we need an Iron Age video game right we do. now. Big K Movies and Games bought Hitman 4K Collection. It includes my favorite, Blood Money. Unfortunately, it's bundled with Absolution. Got to inflate those sales <laughs> numbers, I guess. Yep. Absolution is fucking rotten. Emperor Creatine. Hey, guys, I know we're all enjoying the stream here, but did you know you could have 10 metric tons of toxic poop inside your colon? <laughs> that I know the secret to losing weight You're and saying shredded? it wrong. Hold on, hold on. You're saying it wrong. Did you know you guys have 10 tons of toxic poop? It's, it's not just that he says toxic poop. It's how he says toxic poop. He doesn't say poop. He's like, poop. <laughs> fucking poop, poop. <laughs> fucking why do Canadians say shit wrong? What is wrong with you fucking people? Poop. Ooh, uh, like it's fucking poop team. Alright. Uh shit. Why is he why is he fucking glowing? He works for the CIA. Opinionated junkie, Xbox Xbox are mad because where are my triple A games? It's so silly. Like, if you grab fucking Game Pass, you get all kinds of fucking AAA games. <laughs> Care on. Uh, and then you get games like this that are supposed to be AAA, but fucking what? Life is Strange is a better game. Just wow. Yeah, Life is Strange is a better game, and it's got better gunplay. <laughs> <laughs> Lance, your rant was great. You went hard on Square Enix in a manner not seen since Spoonie in the good old days. I wish he was still with us. <laughs> he is. He just he streams now, right? JFK I shot first. On the subject of Arcane, thoughts on Arx's fa Arx Fatalis? I have... I've only played it a little. I actually do have... It is on Game Pass. I have it on PC. I need to play it more. But it's okay. I think it I agree it's probably their best game. Uh whatever those people coming and going all hours of the night sounds like you're all building something massive and annoying. If you don't quiet down, you never know what intended consequences you're like. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So you got a noisy neighbor, gotcha. Welcome to the club of the fucking most of us. Fish tacos oh. tonight. Just hide behind vehicles. The vampire AI. Japanese hell. A disgrace to your ancestors. Just hide behind the va uh, the vehicles. The vampire AI is so brain dead they can't figure out how to get around or even over them. Yep. We have already discovered that. Best way to kill us started Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines recently, and I've really enjoyed it. Playing as a gangrel, mm -hmm. I like how gloriously not woke it is, but woof. Those player character designs. So early 2000s in the worst way. Indeed. You gotta... You need mods for that. Mr. Luckless. Iron Age of Gaming. To hell with that. Video game crash of 2024. Let's go full salt the earth on the industry. Duct tape. Red Green would be proud. Something in here. Are these the noisy neighbors? Rise of the Lobster Men? Okay. Starring Jordan. Worst Peterson. stream ever. Where Ultraman is? ZX. Hey, Razor, if you could add three to five facts to U.S. history class, what would they be? Uh, Three to five facts. To U.S. history class, okay. Uh, You'd have to include one about Lincoln. Well, yes, I think, and and some would relate to Lincoln. I would say um, the myth of the proposition nation would need to be added to U.S. history, Old West history, and uh, Abraham Lincoln not intending to free the slaves and not doing it during his lifetime for that reason probably would be important to mention. see here. 
Oh, and I think next to Lincoln, I think the next guy that needs the most kind of correction to his record is probably Teddy Roosevelt, honestly. Board game. Okay. Like the progressive era, there's so much propaganda around that. All right. Uh, he says, I'd add better info on the original four ethnicities of the U.S. settlers. People barely understand the pilgrims. Never mind the pilgrims. We don't even study Old West history at all. And it's an important civ civics lesson. Because it's basically when you learn that fucking the government can't create a city only community only communities can do that and communities are just groups of fucking people cooperating for their own advancement the fuck was that philippe thank you for the 20 i know why leon doesn't have any muscles in a resident evil remake what's up they all went to ryu <laughs> that game looks so uninteresting Redfield, I almost got this turd. Thank you for being my guinea pig. Oh, man. Thankfully, I'm we didn't pay for it. I'm glad to help spare you that fate. Jeg's Dino God. At least a silver lining. I think Spencer was being too nice. Xbox became a thing because of Halo, which consistently set the FPS standard. Yeah. Input lag and all this is unacceptable. And it's ridiculous, too, because, I mean, that really... That really hangs a bow on it. Well, I knew I heard something. Do not play games with me, blood bag. There's a fucking vampire in here. Oh, somebody turned into a vampire. Metal Ninja, I'm sure everyone has plenty of valid reasons, but why do I feel the worst thing I don't like about Ron DeSantis is everyone who likes him? Is there anything he can do to nullify this? Is what... is what... What's the thing he doesn't like? The people who like Ron DeSantis. He's... Associating with and has taken money from people that I think there's already a large public aversion to. Look, he, he just played two things totally wrong over the course of the last five months. That's why he went from being a presumptive front runner to now a distant second, if not third place in most polls. He just hasn't, he didn't play the Mar-a-Lago thing right, and he didn't play, he waited too long to talk, it made him seem indecisive. Shit. See what I'm talking about? Uh, R3, R3. Okay. There go. Got it. He just... He, it's the the wounds are totally self-inflicted for DeSantis. It's he just didn't play that right, and he still kind of isn't. This that whole trip to Japan and shit, and he wasn't even talking to like actual Tonight like I leaders. Turtle soup. Like he went on this international tour and didn't talk to any like major like he didn't talk to like world leaders or anything. He talked to kind of the also rans. It was so weird. I think he intended it to seem like he's already kind of president, but it came off like he couldn't quite make the show. <laughs> There's something weird going on with DeSantis' optics, and I have to believe it's really... I shouldn't leave the body lying around. <laughs> I have to believe it's just... He, he has shitty rhino Karl Rove. Actually, isn't he literally working with Karl Rove? Like, what he's, his plays feel very Karl Rove. It's like they're intended to play to people that Ron DeSantis should not be playing to. Oh, yay. And they write poetry, too. That's, uh, that's neat. This person turned into a vampire and ate their entire family is what I'm getting from this. Ah. 
Metal Ninja. I'm sure everyone has plenty of valid reasons. Oh, sorry. I read that one. What are you, like, Vampire Showdown? Like, literally, that's... Fuck you. Levi, thank you for the 20. You can modify the input lag in settings. Also, beware of the clouds of red fart. <laughs> you can modify the input that's lag? Terrible. Hold on a second. Controller? Uh, I, I mean, you could certainly modify the sensitivity. Yeah, the se that's not the problem. But that's not going to change how fast it... Uh, Maybe uh, check um, back to. Uh, okay, let's try. Uh, okay, no, that that just alters the sensitivity. That doesn't change how quickly it uh, it responds. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's go up, and then. Yep, still. Yeah, it's it, it just all that does is make it move a little faster because it's uh Oops. Shit. Yes, please reset. Blake, okay, thank you for the five and no, I don't think we can help you with that. Devil Lord. It's funny to me how people were calling Hi Fi Rush an Xbox exclusive game of the year in early twenty twenty three but they come up with one flop and it's the end of the Xbox brand. It's silly. It's silly. I think I do think Xbox has serious issues like they need to figure out how to make cuz cuz I I do feel like Game Pass is losing value. Um Game Pass was a really great deal for a while. I feel like it's less of a value now. And I think like Whoa, did I run into another vampire? I did. Stop me. Maybe you should try getting a job. Uh, that's long reload. Well, this sucks. There we go. Ugh. Thank you. Opinionated junkie, CDC director set to retire. Coincidence. <laughs> also, thoughts on Fantasy Star. I love Fantasy Star. It's a great series. Nancy Drew in the case of the missing period. Obligatory Carrie Lake and Abe uh, update. Uh, Carrie Lake just offered an update yesterday on the lawsuit going forward. Um, they did, it was something to the effect of the signature match thing. There's actually a hearing fucking scheduled or whatever for that. So, and again, the signature match is really, really important. Uh, Abe Hamaday also offered an update and I'm blanking on exactly what that was, but it was also good news. I'm like really wondering what the fuck is going to happen because if they keep getting hearings like this, there's so many scheduled. The law of averages is starting to say at least one of these is going to pan out. What the fuck happens if months and months and months after the election, one of these pans out? Like, what what do we do? Is there any recourse? The, the state of Arizona did have an election in the early 20th century where a uh, Democrat got into office, into the governor's office. And it turned out there was some kind of irregularity with the voting. I, I don't, fraud was suspected, but never proven. But the end result was he didn't win. And fucking like seven months or something after the goddamn election, we just kicked him out of office and replaced him with the person who actually won. So the state of Arizona actually does have a history of doing this. Um, I don't, it doesn't seem probable to me, but... Yeah! Peter. Take that, Billy Corgan. Good evening. I recently bought the first three issues of The Shadow Strikes by DC. What are your thoughts on that run? I've recommended it a shitload of times. It's the best Shadow ongoing series there ever was. 
and it should be released in graphic novel. It's ridiculous that it hasn't been. I need to heal. Where is this? Oh my god. Multiple fucking vampires. I gotta go. Yeah, this is very dying light. Right down to don't don't like numbers literally pop up when you shoot people in dying light too. Oh god, I don't remember. Yeah, this kind of feels a little dying light. I what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm gonna die. There's nothing I can do. Fucking five I just run into five different vampires, I can barely take one. Shit. Yeah, it's kind of dying light, like the way you can run into groups of high-power enemies and shit. What does your bird do? Have you used it? I have no idea. They haven't even explained what your fucking bird does. Mr. E, thoughts on Chris Potter's New Orleans accent as Gambit in the 90s X-Men cartoon series? I still have to write that paper. What the fuck do I know about a proper fucking Cajun accent? It's probably the first Cajun accent I ever heard, apart from fucking Justin Wilson. You all right, Terrence? Mm, pardon? I... yes. Yes, I'm fine. I know what it's like to want to focus on everyone else when we're all in shit. But you need to rest. With respect, Reverend, we all need to rest. <laughs> but if we're going to make it through... Abdulio? This, Reverend fucking... Why would you do this to yourself? What? Just the game. <laughs> I am taking one for the team so you don't make the mistake of fucking buying it, folks. Sideburns. And also because oh. it's fun to take the piss out of a really shitty game. And this is a really shitty game, y'all. Alright. Sideburns. No Dead Rising 2 Let's Play? We Can played you it. Not... What? We played Dead Rising 2. I mean, we didn't finish it. Yeah, we did play Dead Rising 2 for, um... Nightmare Arcade. For Nightmare Arcade. Also, have you seen Back to the Future movies? And if so, your thoughts on the third one? I haven't seen... I've seen all the Back to the Futures except for the second one. Uh, and I love the third one. Third one's good. They're yeah, all I, good. I watched Back to the Future 3 probably the most... Actually... Emperor Creatine, what's oh! up? What's your favorite beer? There we go. I don't drink. What is Anakin's favorite beer? <laughs> Uh-oh. Youngling. <laughs> he just kills them every time. Uh, How much longer do you think Kathleen Kennedy has before she's ousted Star Wars is dead so long as she's there? I see she's not going to get ousted. She's going to get promoted. I've been saying this since the beginning when everyone was like, Kathleen Kennedy's days are numbered and shit. She'll either move on to an even more lucrative job for another company or she will get promoted to a higher position where she'll make a lot more money and have a lot more influence over something that has nothing to do with Star Wars. That's, that's how incompetent people who have a fucking uterus, albeit a barren one. That's that's how they get dealt with in corporate uh, ESG land. All right, let's Cicero see. Cicero deserves Woo! hugs, so I gave him a hug. Okay, how do you... Can you zoom in, or I guess that's just... You're just stuck with that magnification. Okay. Well, our sniper has a sniper now. I love it. Oh, what the fuck? Are they literally spawning in as I'm... Ooh! Beautiful. <laughs> uh. That's it. Got them all. Even in a shitty first-person shooter, you give me a sniper rifle and I'm having fun. That's just how it works. Super happy fun time. Everyone's rushing to defend D. Snyder because he's getting a taste of the left's vitriol. 
After like he is the years. less vitriol. Fuck him. This is. I feel the same way about what's happening with D. Snyder as I did about fucking James Gunn when all the stupid people on our side were like, "Oh, they're trying to cancel him." But it's like, motherfucker, that is the sentence that he recommended for everyone on the right. Make them live by their own fucking logic. Make them suffer the consequences of their own fucking behavior. He says, I say no. Wolves gotta eat, too. Yes! These fucking people do not deserve to be defended. Now, you shouldn't necessarily join the dog pile. That's hypocritical. But leave them to be devoured by their own. Don't fucking defend them. They wouldn't defend you. What the fuck kind of AI is that? They can hear you through fucking walls and shit, but they can't circumnavigate a car. <laughs> Raptorsaurus, it blows my mind that the studio that made Arx Vitalis made this piece of crap. Right? Drop it! Lance, lots of praise and scorn for the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Personally, though, I don't watch any movies by James Gunn, but at least somewhat at least until someone has checked his hard drives after those jokes. Uh-oh. I don't have many sniper rifle rounds. Whoops. This is so much harder than it looks, y'all. Oh. Wrong gun. Oh, no. The gun selection sucks, too. Like, dude, a game like this, this is where you go all in on funky, weird firearms that you shouldn't have in real life, right? Archibagaris saying And, and what, did, what did they go with? Some random, generic, tactical-looking pistol... Random kind of... I mean, the shotgun's kind of neat. But, like, this is where you go all in on funky pistols that you shouldn't have access to. You know what I mean? You should have, like, a wildy. You should have... Uh, Resident Evil gets this. How the fuck does Arcane not... Of course, I don't know. Maybe you get that kind of shit later. Archie McGarris Sancti says, Apparently there's an IWI Taver X95 MTAR in this game. And they animated it with a reciprocating bolt handle, which is not how the gun works. <laughs> I give hey, me a a new shotgun. He gives me a feng shui wedgie. I forget what game it was, but some developer made a game like an FPS with gun a lot of different guns in it, in a country that they're not allowed to have guns. So they had to model airsoft guns, and the guns do not work like they're supposed to. Right. Where'd my other pistol go? Did I break it or something? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. I guess I... My other pistol just disappeared into thin air. I don't know. Uh... What is this? Okay. Damage 9, damage 13, damage 15. Okay, so this is definitely what you want. Grim Tide. Right? The Grand Inquisitor, do either of you like any modern Worst stream ever post World War Two firearms? Uh, and what's next on your pew pew list? Pew, I mean post World War Two firearms, I mean Yeah. Certainly. Oh the fuck? The fuck? Ooh, it's got a skin on it. Awesome. <laughs> Was oh, that uh, purple, yo? I mean, some of my revolvers even are fucking post World War II. Shit, my uh, my Ruger Blackhawk is from the '50s. That's when they started making those. Um, they started making the Smith and Wesson Model 25 revolver in the well, mine is from the '70s. So those are those are all post World War II. All right, let's see here. But yeah, I don't I don't like polymer firearms. I don't like modern polymer firearms. I do like the auto mag. 
That is definitely a post-World War II weapon. Okay, let's find this helicopter wreckage. Let's go see if we can find Kobe Bryant and his wife. What? Mr. Melange, thank you for the 20. Who's your pick for best Death Wish villain? Definitely Michael Parks from Death Wish 5. Some kind of yeah, historical a lot of personality. Definitely Probably him. Probably a good place to get my bearings. Stannis the Manus Baratheon. People sleep on Death Wish 5, but it is worth watching just for Michael Park. He's amazing in it. Tears and Rain is Scott Steiner. <laughs> I can't. I, I don't know. Whoa. What the fuck? Oh, it's fast travel. Okay. Alright, uh. You know, normally when you go one on one with the things that I've seen that you couldn't believe, <laughs> you get a 50 50 chance of seeing attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. Take your damn clothes off. <laughs> But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal! <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Let's do some recon. What was that? What did he do? He just flew into the concrete and disappeared. What? What the shit? Okay. What a rotten way to die. <laughs> they sure fucking did. Nice. Okay. Don't touch China. China is asshole. Yeah, we got an assault rifle. Generic black assault rifle. My bad. Sorry. That, guys. That's definitely my least favorite fucking thing to wield in any shooter. I'll uh, reread that. I like Rainbow Six Siege ish. But, uh. Is that thing called all the e generic freight? black rifles that I can't keep straight. Fucking, I feel the holy same way. Holy fuck is this wrong? <laughs> but holy hell, is it even? Oh, wait, wait, you get cut off? It got cut off. I blame you. Huh? That was weird. Uh, I'll reread that one for you guys. The grizzly. You this is becoming a trend in gaming by designers who fainted the first time they heard the term Assault Rifle 19 and had a leftoid conniption about it. Uh -huh. Games used to be really good at designing modern firearms and got worse. Yeah. Okay, what about this? Let's... How much... Okay. Drop it! Ultraman ZX, what do you think about fantasy based in the 1930s? Like what, Wizard of Oz or... Wizard of Oz is based in the turn of the 19th to the 20th century. Um, I, I, I can't think of any examples. You're going to have to help me out there. Yeah. Also, do you think it would be possible to set anything in modern world when Shadowrun is so close? I... Uh, uh, fair enough. I mean, I've seen enough fucking BLM protests to know there's fucking... There's fucking trolls and goblins running around, so I... I... So fair enough! Like what's left of it. Al smash. This frame rate defies explanation. <laughs> Humble Bundle selling 60 Battletech books for $18. Thoughts? I mean, okay. It's digital, though. I don't... I prefer having the hard copies, folks. 
great big turgid veiny throbbing hard copies what the fuck Michael, thank you for the 35. What is a firearm, any era, that you wish you owned? Um... I would love to have a Rostin Gosser. Um, nice. What is that? I can't pick that up. Is that it? I'd love to have a Rostin Gosser. I'd love to have a um, FNFAL. My Matiba Unica Model 6 would be really nice. All right. Grave lock? Auntie. It's like a lock, but grave. Auntie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got dragged down into this. To let them to oh god, they're fucking audio logs. Does Arcane only know one trick? Whoever you are, you've made a mistake. Hello. Whoa. Okay. Magnum Norse. As far as modern firearms go, I'm a huge fan of the Sig Sauer P226. The SEALS pistol with it n with no plastic, but not inexpensive. Alright. Plenty of handgun ammo. Uh, shotgun ammo. Thank you. Gaius, no name? Yeah. Oh, yes. There we go. She's back up and running. What are your thoughts on General General Grant? I just read American Ulysses by Ronald C. White and learned about his defense of the gold standard as president post-war. Thoughts? I don't think he had many policies of his own at all, so if he did something good, it was probably somebody else that did it. He was basically a, po a proxy president. It was essentially used uh, in the immediate aftermath of the war. His stance on uh, Reconstruction was pretty odious. Uh, Hell on Wheels, if you watch the show Hell on Wheels, it does a pretty good job of showing how fucking corrupt his administration was. He installed carpetbaggers in governments all around the South, essentially uh, imposed a military dictatorship on half of the country. He and President Johnson, when they admitted the, uh, the Southern states back into the Union, they actually did not uh, admit them. Oh, what is this? They did not admit them as states. So they actually, ex here's, here's the irony. The people who claim that Lincoln was attempting to preserve the Union really have a tough time explaining this one after the war's over <laughs> they actually expel the southern states from the union formally so all the people who claim the north was trying to save the union they actually after the war technically and in in full practice kicked all the states out so that they could then readmit them as a military dictatorship. So not only did they not save the Union, after the war was over, they specifically made a point of breaking it so that they could admit them as a, as a military district. <laughs> Good times. All right. Uh, UV. Oh, I see. So that's, that'll work against vampires. I should probably equip that then. A UV beam. Magiris Sancti. Here's five more bucks for the Matipa Unica six love. Oh, thank you. All right, there we go. What is this shit? Uh. Anyone ever see just normal rocks shaped like this in the middle? The fuck? I seen some rocks, yo. We got a lot of rocks here. In E. Smith. Arizona, okay. particularly in downtown Phoenix. Overall, crack houses. Or, uh, overall opinion on Tarantino. Pros and cons. 
I there's only cons for me. I don't like any of his films. I don't like his style. I don't like how overpraised he is. I don't like Quentin Tarantino. Fast Tony, favorite work of fiction dealing with vampires challenge. It can't be Redfall. Nosferatu. <laughs> and yeah, that was tough. Uh, there we go. Supply crates! Ooh, I can hack this, okay. Oh, another one. Some of those cultists are after the supply catch. You cut them off, or head straight for the supplies. Still that second chopper, too. Yeah, shut up. Evan Rose, would you invite G Prime to stream with you? I would love to. Love to. That'd be good. Actually, we're thinking um, as we get closer to the end of the Ghost of the Badlands campaign, which I'm still blown away, is still fucking growing. Um, I was thinking maybe we could do a uh, three man uh, hunt showdown with him. By the way, the new Hunt Showdown event just started. Yeah. Or new campaign, new quest line. The, the event with the Gator hasn't started yet, but I have a feeling it'll happen right after this uh, quest line is done. Zion, Arcane was never that great. Their oh, 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 fuck! Their version of Prey was an abomination, and Dishonored was meh at best. I don't think Prey is an abomination. I want to make that perfectly clear. I just think it's just kind of there. Like, it, that's the big problem. Is Boring. It's, yeah. There's dull, repetitive enemies, no variety. Fucking, as I said earlier, the what they call and what so many reviewers called open-ended level design just felt like a bunch of scripted solutions like multiple scripted solutions to a particular situation that the developers were kind of leading you to various levels uh, into completing their way. I, I fucking hate that. Wow, the texture on the gun had to pop in. Did you see that shit? Yeah. This is a fucking mess, gang. Right. Nintendo Wii, have you ever taken a moment to sit back and take in just how utterly mediocre our so-called elites in our institutions truly are? I know. It's amazing, too, because so many of them are from, like, Ivy League schools and shit. If this is the... Is this the criteria, the intellectual criteria and shit that we have for our intellectual... In for our uh, academic institutions? Hey! And they wonder why college degrees are worth less and less. The more places folks have to lay low, the better. It'll also give us a foothold to take back our neighborhoods from these monsters and their goddamn cults. My friends already laid the groundwork in a few places, but as you can imagine, they're not really safe yet. If you spot one, just get the power going and give us a shout on the radio. Lord J. H. P. Lovecraft, thank you for subbing for six months. Dave N. Confused, thank you for the hundred bits. Ghost Spidine, thank you for the fifty bits. Right. Remember what Master Yoda once said: "Do or do not come. There is no try." <laughs> do not come. Well, no. Arbiter, have you tried Deep Rock Galactic? Yes, we both have. Yes, are. I love that game. It's a fucking killer game. I'd rather be playing it right now. Scarfy the Strange, uh, chat GBT, just turned Skyrim NPC into Oblivion NPC. Yeah. Okay. Which, and it still sounds terrible. Oh, there we go. Ah, I don't need that. I already have a centipede. Oh, it is improved over what I already have, though. Marker up ahead. 
Fast Tony, but man, what an embarrassment oh, nice. for Arcane. How do you not make open world co op vampire hunting cool? Right? How would you do it? It's because of the ch you, you can tell a lot of the problem here was just on the writing and develop early concept uh, phase. This was a. This wasn't even that good of an idea poorly executed. It was like a really mediocre idea poorly executed. And the mediocrity comes from one thing and one thing alone. The same thing that was true of Prey and some of the other projects that Arcane were working on. I mean, nobody has consulted harder with Anita Sarkeesian on representation than Arcane Studios. They've had her in. She's practically an uncredited member of the development team at this point. And uh, when you're paying so much attention to a fucking checklist, you're probably not paying attention to what actually matters, which is making a fucking fun game. Alright. Wow. So wow, that doesn't damage them very much. You can't win. Whoa! Then again. Yeah, I was gonna say. Also, is it not daytime? It... They blocked out the sun, they claim. It doesn't look like it, but they claim that they blocked out the sun. Wow, they're just running right into the fire. Wow! The AI gang! Whoa! What the fuck is this? Yikes! Holy shit, what was that? Because it's the law. Stop me if you can. Fuck! I'm trying to heal! Damn it. You need like a, uh... A dodge move or something. I'm wondering if you have one. I haven't found it if you do. Like a sidestep or a... Just amazing. Like a dash? Yeah, like... Whoops. Make yourself useful. I did not expect that to ha be like eight vampires. I thought I was just attacking two of them. Alright. Let's try this again. Scarfy the stream. We have to all talk in generic, poorly conceived Texas accents, because that's what everyone in the military sounds like. Scarfy the Strange, who would you call the right wing Sarkeesian? The right wing Sarkeesian? Yes. I mean, I don't know. Why do I keep just wandering into random nests of vampires? God, this fucking reload is so fucking long. Ah! Does this do the typical FPS shotgun thing where if you aim down sights, it, it's like a more concentrated choke. Probably. You are standing in fire, but what the fuck is... What the... What the fuck?! Did you see that?! Yes, I saw it. What the sh... <laughs> Game of the year all years! That's this game's better. a fucking turd! Holy fuck. They released this, guys. They tested this and... Re well, the testing part is debatable. But they certainly released it. That's terror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am in disbelief. All right. Oraxis, here's five bucks. Thanks for getting me for getting this, so I don't have to. Well, I didn't get it. It's it was on Game Pass. All right, all I had to do was download it. I just lost the fucking hour or however long it took to download this beast. 
Magnum Norse Horizon Zero Dawn ha was an abomination. I don't know why people like that character. Oh, thank you. I fucking hate that game. Her name rhymes with bunt. Barb Rogers, Ms. Solar Terror. I'll be your Alex Vance to your Gordon Freeman anytime, Razor. I don't know what that means. Is there someone that shouldn't be here? There we go. I was wondering. Got him. Blank Frankie is zombie by any other name would be just as boring and stupid. Indeed. Sam, what do you think of omnibuses? I just bought and am enjoying the Preacher omnibus. Ah, Preacher never did much for me. No offense to anyone who likes it. Just was never one of my favorites. I'm not, I find I'm not the biggest. That's going to explode. I find I am not the biggest Garth Ennis fan. Like everything I've read from him, I haven't been that impressed. His shadow run was pretty bleh. I mean, it's all right. It's just, it's not the shadow. All right. Griff Nizzle. One benefit of this game, it makes me want to play Painkiller again. Again? Again. You, go, you going Canadian on me? Going Canadian, eh? The Gord King, according to a survey, Rockstar Games ranks highest in customer satisfaction. <laughs> but you know what ranks least in uh -oh! customer satisfaction? Uh-oh! 9-11 game. <laughs> what, a what a terrible name for a game studio. Reminds me of that tragedy. Yeah, it reminds me of that tragedy. Yeah. Here's Goodness. the vermilion bird of the south in all its glory. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna equip the Alabaster Scarf Texan here. Though we have constitutional carry, I'm taking my LTC class tomorrow. Gotta get up at the ass crack of dawn. Wish me luck. Good shit. Scarfy the Strange, life is glitchy vampire hunting. There's someone that shouldn't be here. Nice. Attack scope here. It's kind of like peering down Satan's butthole a little bit, but I still appreciate the scope. The attempt at the scope, anyway. The Grizzly. From the first E3 trailer, I cringed out of my skin. Vampires became cringe enough with Twilight. They didn't deserve to get current yeared like this from... The geniuses that brought us prey. From the very first E3 trailer, I was unimpressed. I was like, oh, great. Another Left 4 Dead clone, but this time it's vampires. And this time it's woke as fuck. Might as well make a sequel to Vampire Reign. Or that, remember that stealth vampire game, Dark? I would rather yeah. play that. Dark was better. This is a good game. It's rough. Gonna end up That's in Japanese worse. hell. A disgrace to your ancestors. Oh. Ultraman ZX, using what I meant, is the idea of fantasy stories in which mortal life advanced to technology akin to the 1930s, with magic, myth, and monsters still being regular instances in wilder, ah. in wilder areas. Oh shit. Thought I hit that. There's this. One of them survival games that's coming out. Ah. Uh, where it's very much like that. They go to different worlds, and there's, like, trolls and fairies and shit. It but is it's very 1920s, 1930s. It is. It is really hard to hit your shots when there's this much input lag. If they move to the That's right good. or left at all, you basically miss. Where's God? Ah, And there's a little bit of an aim assist, too, to it, which is not helping. All right. All right. 
There we go. Yeah, Nightingale, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Vic yeah, it's more Victorian, sure. But it still looks cool. Colgrave wasn't here for the f for first stream. So I suspect you might have a verdict already. Is this game fun to riff on with friends, or is it not worth the breath? It is so not even worth it installing. Is, dude. This is garbage. How do you mock it when you, most of the time you're struggling against the controls and the input lag just to hit a shot? Like, oh, it's on. brutal. Hold on a second. Media file, event, stream, uh, image. What are you? You gonna do something or just stand there and bleed? Text. There it is. And. Are they, did they crash on top of this mountain? I think they may have. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Oh, fuck. Getting kind of high up here. Is this going to end like that fucking bikini climber chick in fucking Taiwan? Gonna wind up sticking the landing on my fucking neck. And of course, of course, we have to have female cultists. Of course, There's enemies in a there. lot of them, a lot, just a, a lot. A lot. Ooh, font size. I can make it big. Kind of reminds me of when they started adding the black female Nazis to Call of Duty. <laughs> it's like, what's the message here? There we go. There we go. How's that look? Perfect. <laughs> hey, I did a thing. Um. Where did I leave off? Fire haps. Whoa. Incidences like the one in New York are the best argument against public transportation. You're basically hostage to anyone who decides to accost you. As if that dude who got fucking stabbed in the brain on the fucking subway while a police officer looked on from the adjoining cab and did precisely dick and then sued the state and lost didn't persuade you hard enough that There's fucking the state is not there to protect you and public transit is a giant fucking death trap right no let's just <laughs> let's hang let's mount a great big neon sign on fuck the state <laughs> Right? Operators must have had different orders from my unit. Stannis. You did a review on 2018 Vampire. Uh huh. But would you do a stream of it? We did. It was a while ago, but we did. I don't know that we did. Well, we may have. Yeah, you might be right. It's a very story driven game. It is. So there would be a lot of talking. It's not the yeah, best. Yeah, less, less Terran Gel talking. That would be a tragedy. No, I'm just. <laughs> Fucking with you. <laughs> Addison Peter. See, I could hit back there, but I won't. Generic bellwether profile. No, 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 no. Hit back, Taryn. No, it's Let, okay. Let's hear I'm it. Going You're to so have, good at thinking on your feet. I'm good at taking the high road, right. which is what I'm doing. You're going to end up in Japanese hell. I just prayed to your ancestors. Better get this intel back to base. Oh, burst fire assault rifle. Whoa! Watch it. Fucking watch it. I shouldn't say that. That's not that's me. Griff Nizzle. Not gonna lie. Damn it. Almost glad this game sucks. F Arcane, one of the most overrated studios ever. Dishonored was overrated and Prey sucked. Not to mention, I can't even change my loadout so that I can have that UV gun. So I'm stuck with. I'm dead. I am dead. Uh, can I fucking. 
This is kind of the problem, is like the core gameplay. Do you have to be out of combat to access your inventory? Well, yeah, because there's no pause. Because uh, Dark Souls is popular, so now every game has to do this. Oh, no. Right. I'll just try and put some distance. And... Oh, my God. You see how they move in midair, too? It's like... You combine that with input lag, and it is fucking brutal. I can't believe I survived that. Alright, whatever. Not to mention, never getting to play Prey 2. Get wrecked. Yeah. Well, let's see. Magnum Norris, Karen is talking to himself again. Hail the fist of cuffs under a bridge in Brooklyn with a cup. Fuck you. What did I hear? Oh, I can get this, and I need oh, you're first a hacker aid kit too. Huh? Yeah. Of course, there's always got to be hacking in these games. Strega. Ooh, that actually looks pretty good. Super happy fun time. Tears and rain is Barney Five. What the fuck? No. We have to draw the line somewhere on the tears and rank. Thank you, Scarfy. It... Yeah, the, <laughs> the subtitle said, Intense cry of pain. <laughs> you said it, Arcane. Where is this bitch? Oh, there he is. Oh my god. No. 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 You will die. Fuck. Okay, I got her. Tell me that's the last one. Very diverse vampires, have you noticed? Awfully, yeah, right? What's the game trying We're to say? We're the Planeteers. You can be one too. Because saving a planet is the thing to do. Taryn, you going to continue the song? No. Looting and polluting is not the way. Come on. Here's <laughs> what Captain Planet has to say. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking turd this game is. Uh, turd fall, ladies and gentlemen. I, actually, I've got a better name. Are you ready for this one? Hit me. Sped fall. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> American Psycho. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so we got that, but what? I don't use midfall. Not even that. Midfall. Yeah, that, that's pretty generous, actually. Being mid would be at least maybe they'd make their money oh, back. What's this? Uh... Shackley Rusterford, why are Euros so obsessed with American domestic policy? Seriously, what's their problem? I, I don't know what you're referring to specifically. Uh... Uriah of the House Right just watched S the Squeenix video. I'm surprised you didn't mention a square funding life is strange and forespoken. Oh, God. I didn't even think of forespoken. The DLC. By the way, game. forespoken comes out. After they claimed that That's JSX it. and Thief had killed their Western division. And then they greenlight Forspoken. Could there be a game that more clearly encapsulates every problem with the Western gaming industry than fucking Forspoken? I was going to say the first DLC for Forspoken comes out soon. 
What? Yeah. That game sold enough copies to even warrant the DLC? What do you want to bet that was just Here's cut the content? Bird of the self in all its glory. What do you want to bet it was just cut content and they're going to charge you for it? Jeremiah, Tears and Rain. Uh, nah. Overdone. <laughs> Have Gun Will Travel theme sung as Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Have Gun Will Travel reads the card of a man. A knight without armor in a savage land. Yay! Wash your penis. Wash your penis, bucko. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Magnum Norse, I just because I love. Sometimes the jokes don't land. We love you, Taryn. <laughs> The Dragoon. A Terran. Yeah. By way of peace offering. Uh. Would you like a voltage? Because <gasps> <laughs> we do love you, Terran. You guys are always ragging on me. <laughs> ah, what a beautiful game. Oh. <laughs> no, it's just so gorgeous. Christ. I just... I had to pause the screen right here just to appreciate the graphical <laughs> ambiance. Ah! Let's do some recon. I keep accidentally using that feature that appears to have no function. Yeah, for the record, Final Fantasy 16 does look good, but that's only because they brought in Devil May Cry devs. What was that, Final Fantasy 15? 16. 16? Yeah. I haven't seen much actual... Have they showed they, gameplay gameplay they footage? They showed, like, they had a whole thing. Okay. They I did, haven't. like, a uh, like 20-minute preview or some shit. It does, to their credit, it does look good. All right. Nice! Wow, so this is the destructive power of the AR-15 nice that Biden's that's always that's talking about. Cool! Suddenly I want to murder school children. Joshua Buckle, what do you think about the ninja titles being... <laughs> wow, you guys really have to work on your autocorrect. What do you think about the ninja turtles hmm. be turn black in that Power Ranger book? What? Uh, I, apparently I don't understand. They're black in the Power Rangers comic book. I... What? They get turned into humans. They get turned into humans, but they're black? Yes. Ah! <laughs> so they're... <laughs> what are they trying to say? That, like, black people are mutants? Or, like, what? They started out as turtles. It, they How did. are they anything as human? I mean, it was what? cute in the cartoon. Well, I mean, Michael look, it's, ID did, it's IDW. Uh, honestly, should we just change the name to Ideological DW? Like, that's literally... That's all they do anymore. And you saw what happened to IDW's stock price recently. Like, they're fucking toast. That, Go broke, get that woke. company is done. Autonomous Prime Hey Razor. Supposed to be fun, not a life or death struggle. Thank you. The Captain Planet theme song sung by Trump. <laughs> we are the Planeteers. You can be one too, like your favorite president, me. Because saving our planet is the thing to do, believe me. Believe me. Looting and polluting is not the way I'm afraid it's not. It's simply not. <laughs> Here is what Captain Planet has to say. Ben Shapiro here. <laughs> Let me just say, for the sake of argument, <laughs> that these planeteers don't know what's best for people. <laughs> Daedalus, thank you for the 20. TV show Captain Planet was definitely brainwashing kids. Oh, t well, Ted Turner, I yeah. think, years later came out and admitted that. He literally, literally, the whole concept of the show 
came from, hey, I'd really like to propagandize little kids with environmental bullshit. What the? F where'd you come from? For you. Right in the dick. Right in the vag, whatever the fuck. Usually the vag in this game. Where am I getting shot? Oh, fuck. Oh, nice. A lucky headshot. Is that some sniper rifle ammo? I'm full on sniper rifle ammo? This won't do. Go to your max ammo. Uh, switch to your sniper. What What exactly is the max that you're carrying? 20. Oh, God. What? Uh, Might be an upgrade for later. Oh, cool. I can cloak. Ghost it out. I didn't see a timer anywhere, did you? No. I just turned it off. I don't, I don't know how long you have with that. Oh. Griff Nizzle, speaking of DX, planning on going through the series again. Haven't played the original in forever. Would you recommend one of the modded versions or the original version? Um, I recommend you start from the first game. Get, uh, get the Deus Ex, uh, is it Revision mod? Yeah. With the uh, HD textures and everything. Get all that fancy pants shit. Get that going. And, uh, and I recommend you play Invisible War as well. It's a good game. It's an underrated game. What you do is... Get uh, uh, John P's texture pack for that, uh, by the way, for Invisible War. Uh, for the original, what you do is you buy it on Steam, if you're using Steam, I'm just assuming. Uh, you install it, then you uh, search in the Steam store, Deus Ex Revision. It's a full standalone mod that Steam hosts. And you download that. And oh, then you play shit. that. It just needs the original install to play. Hip fire spam! It's like I'm playing Hunt Showdown. Stab it. Stabby stab! <sighs> Last one. Looks like some kind of safe house. Good place to hunker down and stock up. Some kind of safe house. Dude, this is very dying light. Watch out. No one's got a nasty old What the fuck? What was that? Yeah, it is very dark. Yeah, extremely. Oh, this is not good. He has his brightness turned up on the TV, so he doesn't know to actually turn the flashlight on. He fixed it. Sorry, guys. It's Anita Sarkeesian. That's for consulting on this game! CTC, thank you for the 20. Greetings, lads. Sh I got a pearl necklace from her. Uh, oh, oh, whoa. Pre presented without comment. So let me get this straight. Game companies claim that due to the coders are working hard and the times are hard, they need to increase their game prices. And yes. this is the result? Yes. Hey, you remember when they justified the $10 increase by saying, well, we're making physical copies. and it, That you, you know, can't get anywhere. What the fuck? Okay, it said safe house, but I can't seem to get into the fucking safe house. I mean, I thought that it was... Okay, can I just jump up here? Damasta, a friend told me FF16 was banned in Saudi Arabia for a gay snooze scene. Uh, Square refused to remove. Square is going woke because they are going broke. I believe it. They're... Their plan is, right now, to just get bought by Sony, I think. Stefan Dastus, the former head of Eidos Montreal, said, like, he he felt like one of the reasons they sold their Western studios was to make themselves look more attractive for a sale. No more. 
more creepers. I am all out of meds, shit. Here's the vermilion bird of the south in all its glory. All right. Ah! <laughs> the Xbox exclusive has what looks like a PlayStation controller there. That's nice. Mr. Luckless, the devs made everyone sound like Hicks because even they can't imagine someone in Silicon Valley owning a gun. Never mind how to use one properly. All right. All right. Can we, uh... Ooh, revolver! Okay, you're speaking my language. You're speaking my language. Nastasa started playing okay Hunt. It's very fun. It even is. with my laptop with a 1050 and lag. But I saw your YouTube uh, YouTuber saying that Hunt is not fun because long ammo is OP. What? It, it, see, you know what they're really telling you there? Their aim sucks. Yeah. If you can't hit your shots with long ammo, then it's useless to you. So these are what you're basically hearing is shotgun boys. Noob tube guys who are ninja pizza. <laughs> A ninja pizza? Pizza that vanished quickly without trace. Ah. Noob tube boys who are pissed off that they can't hit their shots with long ammo, so But dude, there's people with shotguns who just run the map. So I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Nighthawk. Hail Razor, during a training event with my lots of downtime, I lent one of my soldiers my copy of The Long Moonlight, and she couldn't put it down. Also, do you guys still give out links to the Discord? Yes, and uh, actually, Stefan has during the entire stream. That's really cool to hear. Thank you. I'm glad you're passing it around. I hope you uh, enjoyed Death Mask. Proctor Squirrel? What the fuck? Jorby. Thank you for the 20. You mentioned that the guns in this game are generic. For wild video game guns, do you prefer real guns like flamethrowers and grenade launchers? Or more fantastical guns like Tesla coils, buzzsaw launchers, magic, etc.? It depends on the game and the setting and stuff, I think. But if you're going to go, like, with a, with a game like this where you got a literal vampire apocalypse, why not go ham on funky, weird guns that you don't normally see in games? Weird, like, semi-autos from the turn of the century and fucking Franken guns and crazy shotguns that they only made a few prototypes of and shit like that. Like, you know, like, the, the, like you, go with full gun porn is what I'm saying. Weird, funky collector's type guns. You know that, that you Call of Duty see. uproar they had where there's like, what are these guns? It's like they had the wheel, the revolver shotgun and shit like that. Uh -huh. Those guns belong in this game. Yeah. Absolutely. What about like a zigzag revolver, right? Like shit like that. Just weird stuff. Strega. Scarfy, uh, you didn't answer my question. Who's the right wing Sarkeesian? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Um... His picks are between Matt Walsh and Devin Stack. Ooh, Matt Walsh is... Matt Walsh might be it. But I, here's the thing. Sarkeesian nowadays is just the person who ideologically poisons media by consulting on it, like, behind the scenes. And there's really nobody on the right that fits that description. Because they don't have that kind of institutional power. So I don't think really that there is one. got a, hook, a hookah, of course, because this game was made in fucking Austin. What is with fucking hipsters and hookahs? I don't know. Can somebody explain this to me? Did you watch Alice in Wonderland one too many fucking times? You know, fucking Porsche makes a hookah, <laughs> and it's like thousands of dollars. Of course it is. Dragoon Walsh. Yeah, I'd li I like smoking, but you know what I like even more than smoking? Looking like a complete fucking asshole while I'm smoking. I think... Let's get the hookah going. Let's make it look like I'm smoking out of a fucking lava lamp. By the way, happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone! Revenge of the Fifth. <laughs> Speaking of hipsters, uh, I think of all the crimes... 
hipsters have committed. They have committed the greatest crime against Mexican food. The fucking hipster Mexican restaurants and burrito places. The gentrified fucking... That reminds me, I'm hungry. You want to order out some for some Encheritos? What? Some Tex-Mex. Oh, God! <laughs> No, no, no! I'd like the uh, the hipster. Let's go to a hipster burrito place. Let's fucking. <laughs> this isn't a burrito. It's an organic, hand farmed fucking. It's a, it's a wrap. The low carb fucking wrap on it. It's whole grain, it's served with arugula and a tequila lime chutney. It's like really asshole. What's the difference between that and a burrito? Oh, about nineteen dollars. Uh, did I get lost in this home? I think I did. There we go. Dragoon. Walsh's grifter, Boomer Take, did not surprise me. Bounding into comics, writing a nearly 3,000 word article, simping for him did. <sighs> when did the DW and their hosts become a sacred cow? I don't, I don't know. Matt Walsh has been full of shit, and I've been calling him out for being full of shit for a really, 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 really long time. I mean, my fucking, I called him out in my Michael Jackson video in what, 2019, 18, something like that, and he's been full of shit at least that long. The guy simped for fucking Mitt Romney. Still a never-Trumper. Won't admit it now, because he knows most of his audience are Trump supporters. But, uh... He's absolutely still a never-Trumper. You know, when he saw DeSantis was probably going to run, his fucking eyes lit up. Okay, I think I have to go back out the window. Lampshade, speaking Where of Hunt, last night I was playing and one team member quit, while the other single-handedly wiped the server to help me out. <laughs> Those moments are partially why I love that game. I know. It's so random. You can get, you can have the worst string of matches in a row, and you will, by the way. You can be the best fucking hunt player on earth, and you will have nights where you're just getting fucking jungled in every hole. I watched Psycho Ghost, who's one of the best hunt showdown streamers. I watched him one day stream. He was doing like a marathon streaming session, like eight or nine hours, this guy. And the dude goes, he's, so they have a rating system, MMR system, where it's like between one and six stars. So one is you're a beginner, six is you're fucking God, right? He goes, he starts the day at six stars and he drops all the way down to two. The guy's a fucking God at Hunt Showdown. And even he has shitty days. It made me feel a lot better. Ooh. Oh, it comes with a speed loader. Oh. Where's he at? He can't kill all of us. He's the last one. Oh, no. There's Challenge accepted. Ooh, right in the head. Yikes. Got her. Oh, fuck. You gotta fuck. equip the other guy. And I have no fucking meds. They're slick, but they can't slide on barbed wire. Got eyes on a safe house. What? Is that a saying I'm not familiar with? What? They're slick, but you can't slide on barbed wire. Huh? They what? Tell me. But it's better Ultraman ZX, hey Razor, what do you think causes the right to retreat from culture? This idea that media is childish and needs to be abandoned for adult things. It's funny because... Who does Matt Walsh work for? Fucking Daily Wire, the guys who tried and failed to get into movies. I would switch to the shotgun. Yeah. You would always switch to the shotgun. Let's yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, did you finish your thought? Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's 
you probably would want to retreat from culture too if your only foray into the culture was fucking terror on the prairie. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Daily Wire tried, God bless him. Alright. Uh Jimbo. Been a while since I caught you live. Have you guys looked into Bramble, the Mountain King, at all? It looks good. I've heard the name, I've not seen it. You? Uh, no, I've never even heard of it. The Grizzly, do you think Rhino Ron walks back his big announcement and stands down for a presidential run? Given he his still polls? hasn't announced, which kind of blows my mind. Um, it's pretty obvious he's going to run. He's got a $200 million war chest from Mitch McConnell and company. But, uh, I think what has complicated it and the reason why he hasn't declared yet, and again... It just makes him seem indecisive to the public. Is it, with his poll numbers falling, he, I think he's getting shit from some of his donors. Actually, I've heard that he's getting shit from some of his donors, from people who are politically connected in Florida. So that might be what's staying his hand a little bit. Is he's? I think he might be hoping for his poll numbers to kind of turn a corner. It needs. Po oh, it needs power. Fuck. Um. Okay, is there, like, a generator around? I see wires. Can I just follow them? Ah. Aha. Need to use these lockpicks anyway. And he says, uh, uh, given his poles are going down like the Hindenburg. And I think part of that is just because he seems indecisive. I think if he just fucking declared, he would instantly get a bump in the poles. Not a huge one, but I think he would get a bump if he just... Got off the fucking pot already. Oh man, I can't get the arcade machine going. I'm I'd read whatever that game is, it's got to be better than this one. I was about to say. Fucking bass fishing would be better than this. Is there a Cabela's game you would not rather be playing than this? Shit! Pop, uh, pop a cap in her ass. Guns make you nervous. Speaking of Death Wish 5 from earlier, fucking great quote. Guns don't make me nervous. Idiots with guns make me nervous. Ew. Sniping with this input delay must be awful. It is terrible, but I'm rolling with it. What the f- Oh, he was hiding behind that tree! <laughs> there was another guy there I did not see. Ugh. And I had I had just picked up a fucking med kit, too. It's my own fault for not using it. Composite Frylock. Oh, so the wow. Super Mario Brothers Ooh. movie just made a billion dollars. Can we get an FUI was right? Yeah, I did predict video game movies were going to be the next big trend, and I think it's pretty obvious that's where we're going now. I mean, if it was just Sonic the Hedgehog, which also made a shitload of money, maybe not. But now that Mario has made all that money, dude. You're Every gonna... studio is going to be like, okay, guys, what's the next Super Mario Brothers? Yep. Yep. You think... You think they'll reboot? I, I think they will. You think they'll ever reboot the Resident Evil movies, do a totally different thing with that? I think they will. It's a pretty damaged IP. If you hey, ignore and completely Safe forget and about the last fucking pile of shit that they made. <laughs> I mean, look, and there's there's some video game God, movies that they've been wor that have been greenlit. <laughs> there's some video game movies that have been greenlit for a while and have been kind of in development hell, and we never heard anything about them after that. Um, end up in Japanese hell, a disgraced right? <laughs> like, uh, fuck. I'm sure this is canceled now because the uh, writer has Alzheimer's, but fucking uh, Heavy Rain. 
the movie was supposed to be made by David Milch, the guy, the creator of Deadwood. He was supposed to be working on a Heavy Rain movie. And it wouldn't have been good because it's Heavy Rain. It would have been good because it's David fucking Milch writing a crime movie. Um, David Milch, of course, before he made Deadwood, was the NYPD blue guy. So that movie would have been awesome, but we haven't heard a fucking thing about it in like fucking seven years or whenever the fuck it was last announced. So I'm sure that's not going to happen. But there's a bunch of movies like, dude, how long ago was the Mass Effect movie announced? By the way, you guys were talking about Hunt Showdown. There's a TV show coming. There's a like, a, I think it's Netflix. They're making a Netflix Hunt Showdown show. So I can't wait for the gender fluid fucking zombies. Shlomo Bagel scene, what was the first game you ever played that really got you into it and spent hundreds of hours in? Hundreds of hours? Maybe not hundreds. Not for me, but... I mean, the games early on that got me into gaming were probably, like, Ninja Turtles games and beat-em-ups and stuff like that. Mega Man. But, like, as far as the game that, like, sucked me in and I became, like, a gamer gamer... Maybe, like, a Breath of Fire. That was probably my first RPG. No, 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 no. Robin Hood Prince of Thieves was my first RPG. And that really did suck me in. I love that game. Maybe for me, it would have been like Parasite Eve. Because I, I went through it again and did the whole uh, Chrysler building thing. And holy shit, you are not doing that without a guide. But yeah, I, I spent a lot of time with that one. I played a lot of Armored Core 2 in other age as well. I poured a lot of time into that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Andrew McGraw, how do you guys? I know Yo. absolutely nothing about this game, so I'm looking forward like to being also. disappointed. Yeah, neither do the people who made it. First impression is World of Darkness ripoff. It kinda. Like a really shitty bubblegum. It's trying to be too hit. woke, fucking vampire the masquerade kind of thing. You and I need to play a little tabletop vampire. Hmm. I have um, I have second edition vampire. The Just masquerade. as long as it's nothing recent. <laughs> yeah, I have second edition. Primark Vulcan. A while back, I had recommended a Brazilian power metal band called Brave. Recently, they did a version of Bathory's Gods of Thunder Wind and the Gods of Thunder Wind and Rain. I highly recommend you check it out. Badass. Always down for some good Bathory. If you like some Bathory, I highly recommend you pick up the Horna, an album by the band Horna, the Finnish black metal band Horna. They did an entire album that was nothing but a tribute to Bathory, but it's all original music, so they're not covers. Uh, and the album is called Sotahuto, and it's objectively one of their best albums, and one of the best black metal albums I've ever heard in my life. Salt A, happy Cinco de Drinco. Razor. Yes. What do you think about the debacle in New York City between the totally peaceful bum unalived by the white vagrant marine? The man was defending himself. What do you want? Did you see the fucking shit they dug up on the guy? Like, ten years ago, there was a post about describing, like, this guy nearly pushed me onto the train tracks and shit. So he was describing an average day in New York. This yes. is this is a problem now. And they're like doxing and stalking the guy and shit. I I saw that. Which is just really guys, do you want to do that? Do you the Marine this guy, the highly this trained. This Marine, Marine just fucking defended himself and probably owns firearms and okay guys, you're <laughs> Go right ahead, stupid. You show right up at his house. This is kind of the problem when the left tries to dox people on the right. It's like, you understand they have, like, guns, right? Like, 
Like, this won't be a boogie 2988 situation where he fires in the fucking air. This is not gonna happen. He's gonna, he's gonna put fucking lead in your brain. What is that? Dude, this is so dying light with the fucking supply drops. Very... I, man, I did, I had not heard how much this was like dying light. Oh, <laughs> seriously, dude? Oh my god! I don't think you're meant to go in. Oh, it's shining, so you are- It can is! You, I'm supposed crouch? to get in here, can but I can't, because the mantling system- <laughs> Can you crouch? I'm trying. Now jump, <laughs> now jump. Okay, so yeah, it's fucked. <laughs> What a fucking piece of shit! No, it's not. It's not an invisible wall, guys. The game is actually doing what it's programmed to do. This game is a fucking hot mess. Ultraman ZX, what do you think of lower frame rate possibly replacing slow mo in portraying speed? I really like it in Puss in Boots 2 in Spider Verse. There, I mean, if you like that, you're going to love the new Ninja Turtles movie from Seth Rogen. That thing has the frame rate of a flip book. In Spider-Verse, I will give them credit. It's the lower frame rate for certain characters was meant to express, like, um, inexperience. So you have Miles, like, moving at, like, 15 frames per second. And you'll have, like, adult Spider-Man moving at, like, 22. This is a bellwether operator. Are they going to attack me? I don't think so. Contact. Or yes. Well. Self-defense. Black Metal Gamer, Master Fist, can you please stream Victor Vran, Motorhead DLC? Oh man, I really need to, yeah. I don't own the game, though. I need to get it. For Lemmy's death anniversary this year. Yeah. I, I really need to. Man, if you gotta go, go like Lemmy. Finds out he has a brain tumor dead a few days later. Fucking no suffering at all. Just a few days of not feeling so great, and then he's gone. Fucking, that is the way to do it. Although I thought he would die on stage for sure. Shalom, Mo Bagelstein. Thank you for the 220. Cult of personality. The Squeenix stuff is a shame, too, because you know, I'm somewhat looking forward to 16. Bolt action sniper rifle. Speaking of which, Razor, do you plan on reviewing 16 when it comes out? Um, Possibly. We did 15, right? Yeah. Although, I believe it just came out that Square Enix is forbidden. This is one of the reasons I recorded my rant. Square Enix is forbidden from releasing Final Fantasy titles on PC or Xbox. So, I oh. don't own a PS5. That's I, I have no problem. plans to own one. And yep. I haven't turned on my PS4 in like nine years. So, that is a problem. Yeah, I don't really give a shit. I mean, they put it this way. I'm not exactly giddy at the prospect of playing a modern Final Fantasy title. Uh, BLB, thank you for the 10. I just can't believe that Square actually let themselves get strong-armed into that. Like, really, you hold all the leverage in 2023. Sony and Microsoft, neither of them have any sequels, or any, any exclusives, rather. Y you hold the entirety of the leverage, and you somehow manage to let yourself get strong-armed into being exclusive to a platform? What? The fuck? How do you even manage that? All right. Punk City. With hair like that, Layla has no peripheral vision. <laughs> Right? She's either got, like, a Darth Vader helmet on, or she's the princess of the Shi'ar Empire. It's one of... One or both of those. 
Oh God! You know modern Marvel. If they did the Shi'ar oh, Empire, they yeah. would all be black. Yep. I bet you money. I bet you <laughs> money. Andrew McGraw. Oh Lord! I love this terrible writing already. Oh. Ooh. Upgrade. Okay, and this is damage 76. This can probably go away. I'm going to salvage this. Don't trust China. China is asshole. Uh, to mask the hot take, Mario is doomed as a movie franchise. Illumination makes nothing but mediocre fast food films, so future movies will be stagnating regurgitations, like how James Cameron ruined Alien with Aliens. MC oh, Corleone. Hey. Thoughts on Carol's accusation of Trump? I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm not sure which Carol you're... Uh, people are levying sexual aggression, a <laughs> word I can't use, against Trump. Uh, I've Carol who? I do not know. I mean... No, oh, I, I think I know what you're talking about. Um... I mean, it didn't stick in 2016. I don't see it sticking any harder now. No pun intended. Especially when everyone who makes the fucking accusations fucking disappears the day after he gets elected. That doesn't make your accusations look very good. Uh, this is the old yokai. Morrigan, probably a Darkstalkers reference. This is 76. Did I? Yes, I need to. This is the 55. Okay. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Woohoo! There we go. Boy, for a crisis that, like, just happened, the uh, looters and shit got on the graffiti awful quick. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a new shotgun. Uh, kind of a shitty one, though. I'll salvage it. You jerk. <laughs> Crossfire. You'll get caught up in the good shit. You'll get caught up in it. Cut the check, thank you for the dollar and the crying emoji. <laughs> okay. I can understand watching this game being moved to tears. Steak launcher ammo, I've already got it. Ooh, better semi-auto pistol, I'll take that. Lucivius. Not that I'm gonna use it, cause fuck that, I've got a revolver. Thank you for subbing for 16 months. Just shoot them in the leg. 
Shoot your leg out of your leg. Multi Sam, can you say, oh, I'm afraid the protein powder will be quite operational when your friends arrive? Oh, I'm afraid the protein powder will be quite operational when your friends arrive. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, somebody needs to make the entire first movie like that. <laughs> the entire trilogy. Young fool. Uh, somebody did that, uh, uh sort of. Uh, you know, the Balenciaga trend videos? Somebody what? did has started, like, a, a pro, like, workout lifters video series about that. It's pretty good. All right. Lampshade, so Redfall, huh? All I can say is good luck with the cringe. Seriously, though, why are these fanfic backstories so common now? It's so bad. It. it what's happening is you're getting people whose entire conception of storytelling is from, like, tabletop RPGs, but not even, like, real role-playing back in the day, like... These are the peop th this is the participation trophy fucking role playing. This is the critical role era of role playing here. These people don't understand adversity or anything like that. Like my favorite role playing session in BattleTech ever was a story where my fucking character went into Solaris as a mech jock. He was out for revenge against this guy. He had fucking wasted my, I forget, like a family member or a friend or something. And it was an absolute mission of revenge. He went in. He got to the very last round. I kept fucking bodying all these people in this round. And I get to the final duel. And we're fighting to the death. And it comes down to the wire. We're both about to core. And the dude gets a lucky cockpit headshot and wastes my character. End of story. Fucking... <laughs> and it was the best thing ever, dude. I lost, and it was the best thing ever. That will never happen now. Because a modern DM would be like, oh, would you like to start over? Sorry, we'll, uh, uh, we'll, we'll call that a mulligan. Would you like to reload? Or These are the people who are writing these games. Rodiger Samson, I saw this in the chat from Cut the Check I, and wanted to hear your answer. Taryn, would you sleep with Stephanie McMahon? Ugh. Not even 25 years ago yeah, when not, she was passably. Not good with Triple H's dick. And then Cut the Check donated. Uh, donated that. That was close. Blood suckers are gone. Now, John Antagonist says, "Keep up the good work. I'm glad to see you guys playing an alpha for Borderlands 4." <laughs> Are you sure this is even an alpha? Let's be real. More of a pre-alpha. What the fuck? No, you can't. I can do this forever. Oh God, I'm dead. <laughs> Random. Thank you for the twenty. Have you uh, have you seen Shadows of Doubt? Uh, yeah, I yeah, I've uh, played it actually. We yeah, haven't yeah. streamed it yet, but I played it. It is really cool, but it is super glitchy. Needs time. Needs more time in the oven. Yeah, they need to patch it. What the fuck? I'll take it. Got hit by light, I guess. I Sunlight? don't. Oh, the UV. Grill the cheese. Howdy, fellas. A uh, good while back, Razor. Mentioned something about the Andy Griffith show having communist propaganda in it. What? Where can I learn more? What the fuck are you talking about? I never claimed that. I love the Andy Griffith show. What the fuck? Scarfy the Strange. And somebody just hallucinated. 
There are AI-generated Balenciaga Harry Potter videos. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm talking about. But they also did, like, Star Wars, Final Fantasy. There's one where, st I think, with Star Wars and Harry Potter, where everyone's just swole. They're lifters. And they're doing, like, a lifter version. I think it's funny. Here's the vermilion bird of the south in all its glory. Emperor Creatine. I am a member of the Imperial Gymnasts Association on sabbatical to 24-hour gym. No, you are part of the Planet Fitness Alliance and a doper. <laughs> Get the white bread. Take him away! <laughs> all right. It's an older Smith machine, sir, but it checks out. I still like the one. I don't that. know. Lift casual. <laughs> <laughs> I still like the one from last week. I'm a CrossFit runner, just like my father before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, Rudiger Sampson, you seen the Whoopi Goldberg comic book from IDW? Someone asked earlier. Yeah, had, someone mentioned it earlier. I'd never even it. heard of here, it. Here, I'll just bring it up. You can just look no, over. no, no. That's all right. No, that's I, perfectly all I right. I insist here. No need. I had to see it. Now you do. It's not necessary. In fact, I think I'm gonna gouge out my eyes to prevent to prevent this. <laughs> Fuck your pumpkin spice. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry, it's Dark Horse. It's oh, God. Dark Horse? It's dark Horse. Oh, fuck. Yikes. Such fantastic draw distance for such a terribly performing game. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, here we go. There it is. The change? She has menopause. Oh my god. <laughs> Hip fire domed. <laughs> I did that for content purposes, of course. I could, do, I could replicate that shot anytime I wanted, you know. All us pro gamers can do that. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, let's, uh... Yeah. Lance Corporal Hawk ordered small package of GOTB. I missed something over there. What was it? I'm missing what? But it didn't get option for... Supply drop. Okay. One version to be color and the other to be monochrome. Any chance of... There's a separate tier. Uh, the monochrome is on a separate tier. If you want the monochrome hardcover, it's a separate thing that you order Yeah, separately. Um, it's on the Indiegogo page. I forget what level it's at. Oh, I see. It's on the other side of this horse shit. Bjorn. This reads like my Immortal spinoff. Space Monkey, where are the women at? I'm only seeing dudes in drag. <laughs> Matthew Pickard, really bad Vampire the Masquerade fanfics. You mean... Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition. <laughs> Mario, the cringe is strong with this one. <laughs> Dylan, what is an example of cheesy European power metal? Uh, Luca Torilli. Luca Torilli is the ultimate in cheesy power, fucking Euro power metal. What the fuck is that? It's like the Hunchback in Notre Dame. Emperor Creatine. Uncle Owen, we can't take this droid. The whey powder will clog up its crappy <laughs> blender. Drop it! 
Tyler Preston right. swole hair. You bottom. bet I could. I'm not such a bad spotter myself. We don't have to. <laughs> Soul Harry Potter. That's anime, mashy, magic, and muscles. All right, let's see. Here. Charles, not sure if you are a fan, but Smashing Pumpkins just released a new album. The second track is pure trash, but the rest is okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't like Smashing Pumpkins. This game seems like a work in progress sequel to a game that doesn't exist. <laughs> yes. Kind of. It certainly seems like a work in progress. It's certainly something in progress. Megavania fan playing the thief in Octopath Traveler 2. Ah, uh, yes. Ob lunch. What? The figure 13, any thoughts on Stargate SG-1? I like it. It's not one of my favorite sci-fi shows ever, but it's it's okay. It was fine. Yeah. Scarfy the Strange, this game just makes me want to play the secret world again. Better town, better vampires, better multiplayer gameplay. Yeah. Kind of makes me want to play Dying Light 1 again. Because who the fuck would waste their time on 2? Can I jump up there? Go here! Go to here! What the fuck? Huh? Oh, the mercenaries are fighting the vampires. <laughs> but they also hate you for some reason. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Where did that miss? I gotta get in a better spot. Emperor Creatine. I've become Where's more the vampire. I've become more swole than any Jedi. Even you, Master Blaster Yoda. Mm. Much to lift, you still have. Them all. Oh, yeah. When 900 pounds you reach, lift is good you are not, hmm? Oh, fuck. Rather appropriate considering my stormtrooper aim on this fucking oh, screen. Oh, you can't. Okay. Fuck. No! God damn it, I couldn't get over the damn fence in time. Fuck. I figured those bellwether guys would have cleared out more of those vampires, but all right, let's. It is kind of annoying. You you keep hitting these pockets. No, I am your spotter. <laughs> no. That's not true. That's impossible. Is another one? Ah, Grand Admiral Braun. Didn't mean to do that. Ow, and there's some asshole fucking sniping from a distance. And not going after the vampire for some reason? Search your logbook. You'll know it to be true. Take damage, fuckhead. Some kind of vampire lookout. Some kind of vampire fucking sniper. See how he likes that one. Dickhead. Alright. Lampshade. I'm you doing counter sniping in a fucking, z fucking vampire game. You cannot do thighs forever, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, 
I still like the other one that we did. Uh, I hope you can hear this. Doing leg day ain't like dusting crops, boy. Is that a proper spotter? You could. Sister. No. You have a sister. If you will not do anabolic steroids, then perhaps she will. <laughs> Talking about you don't have Why to you, do you don't have to do steroids to look that good. Just ask the Rock. Really put cheap. down fucking twenty pounds of muscle after age fifty, right? Really completely cheese. Completely naturally. Could have sworn I heard that somewhere. Glad I was mistaken though. Andy Griffith's the best, and it having comedy propaganda, and it would be would have sucked. You ever hear Norm's story about Andy Griffith? No. <laughs> I mean, at the airport one day, and I and I, I see Matlock, you know, Andy Griffith, whatever his name is. I just call him Matlock, and uh, and I'm talking to him for a long time, and suddenly it becomes really obvious that he's not Matlock at all. <laughs> it's, it's just some old man <laughs> who kind of looks like Andy Griffith. And then I realize the guy's basically milking it because he realizes everybody thinks he's Andy Griffith. Like, who the hell would sit there for 45 minutes just, just talking to an old man? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Megavania fan. Sorry, I was playing it on my lunch break. Emperor Creatine. Whey powder is no good out here. I need something more thick and less prone to clumping. <laughs> And I will offer my Bowflex as my bet for the boy. <laughs> Doug Keller. What do you think of some kind of Mr. Olympia waving your arms around like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Toytarian. Weightlifting treats don't work on me. Only money. Anyway, sorry. Doug Keller, Razor, have you seen Showdown at Boot Hill? Uh, yes. Yes, I have. Oh, is that it? Okay. Uh, Scarfy the Strange. Ever seen unrecorded trailer? Oh, uh, the uh, Unreal Engine uh, body cam shooter thing that was going around. Oh, yeah. Um, I only saw a little bit of it. Interesting idea. Yeah, I mean, it looks really cool. I think it's only got like a couple of people working on it. So. It's yeah. always the small teams that come up with the interesting ideas. Yep. Modern games get made by committee. So, guy, there's there's an opening here, guys. If you were uh, wanting to make a nice Iron Age modern game, <laughs> you, need, you need fewer people than ever, and you can have higher production values than ever. On smaller budgets than ever. Darth Hall. <laughs> Han spotted first. Oh my god. Speedo. Ah, uh, read that. Whatever you need. This soundtrack is fucking odious. Vampire Underboss. Oh, dear God. David, no. Deathloop was also overrated. Underboss? Dude, that is totally Vampire the Masquerade. Deathloop was also overrated and overpriced. Man, that game... It really is. That game went away so fast. So fast. I heard some people say it was good, but I, I haven't given it a whirl. Loop. But it's arcane. Like, I'm not going to just assume it's good because so much of arcane shit has been either overrated or outright crap. Luke Sky Squatter. <laughs> Luke Thighwalker. I think that might be a different type of movie. Uh, I read that. Is it on Bind? How does one make a game that has that much input delay? Turd of the year. Of course, 
it's on Game Pass, but because who would pay for this? No shit. Read that. Hopefully we're catching up now. Here we go. Sniper, you say? Azelgath came into a stream called Let's Mock Redfall. First words I hear are, this is retarded. <laughs> Razor <laughs> does not disappoint. <laughs> yeah! Oh, come on, bitch. Go over to the railing. Your two friends just died. He's not even curious. Best way, killer. Luke, help me take these wrist straps off. <laughs> Just for once, let me lift with you with my own grip strength. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Eric the Red, the soundtrack is Bad 90s Goth Band meets MIDI Synthesizer. Ugh. Ooh. Emperor Creatine, a keto, f a keto food meal can only mean one thing. Awful muscle cramps. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. <laughs> what in the fuck kind of laser light show is going on here? What is it? Oh, turrets. auto turrets. <coughs> I wonder. I doubt sniper rifle ammo will do much against them. Stealth Creations just got through work and even recommended Iron Age magazine, even encouraging them to try a hand at the short story writing prompt. Enjoying the stream. You can't hurt me. Right on. Ah, shit. God, it's so difficult hitting anything. Okay. Well, I've tagged him a couple of times. For all the fuck good it did. Mario. Even for getting it free seems like overpaying. Man, this... All clear. Man, this is like bad PS2 graphics. It really I think is. my eyes are bleeding. This is gonna be... They're gonna have the biggest fucking texture and performance patch in human history after this. Like I predicted at the beginning of the stream, I bet you it they pull a Fallout, and it's basically a game replacement. Like this will be the, the patch will be as big as the install is. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me at least try to take out one of these turrets if I can. Why is it so? Oh, he forgot to turn on his flashlight again. Parlock. Hey, Razor, thoughts on D. Snyder getting uh, piled on by these woke buddies for opposing sex changes for children? <laughs> it, he only supported it because Paul Stanley did. I'll, I'll just call him out right now. I don't think D. Snyder would have said a fucking word if Paul Stanley hadn't said something first. Which is surprising, too, because Paul Stanley's woke as fuck. Um, good. Carnivorous movements acquire a taste for their own. They have no one to blame but themselves. Fuck D. Snyder. Okay, it actually does work. I think you have to hit it right at the top, though. Rock Jock. Razor has a Red Wall fan. What's your opinion of the 90s kids cartoon, Capital Critters, about politically conscious mice living in the White House? <laughs> Never even heard of it. Liver, thank you for the five. Josh. Okay. Uh, I already read that one. Wonder where the safe house is. Why does this fucking town look like fucking Stars Hollow from the Gilmore Girls or some shit? Like, it's... It's like... This is totally Washington, right? This is like outside yeah. Seattle, Washington. It's like small town USA kind of. That or fucking Oregon. It. Hold on a second. Let me just ask. Right. 
Where does Red Safe house. It, Fall take? It's called place. Redfall. Could yeah, it be I Redfall? What, it the map says Redfall, dude. Thank you. It's Redfall. What state? Oh, I, it probably nondescript state USA. It is not specifically based on any real part of Massachusetts. This is yeah, it's like a New England small town kind of, which makes sense where a lot of hipsters come from. That's and a lot of people at Arcane came from Massachusetts because they're like MIT people. John antagonist, turn up the graphics settings. Why is it set so low? <laughs> <laughs> I got bad I'll news. I'll do what for I you. can, bro. I got bad news for you. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Probably Martha's Vineyard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The Southern Gentleman. Red Dead 2 with its own undead nightmare, but vampire themed instead of zombies, yay or nay. You would do better than this. So long, prick. Yeah, New England with southern accents. What's that about? All right, there we go. All right. Uh... Emperor Creatine, you were supposed to bring balance to planet fitness, not keto food. <gasps> Anakin, cardio is evil. From my point of view, the leg day is evil. <laughs> then you will get clogged arteries and bad lung capacity. <laughs> Fucking love it. Scarfy the Strange, between vampires, Star Wars, superheroes, fantasy, and even cowboys, it seems everything that was popular became woke. Stay niche, folks. Alright. Damn it, Les. Walsh's NPCs copy paste literally every response. I don't know if you've noticed, like, a lot of. A lot of accounts that were just registered, like, no earlier than March of 2023, all kind of have the DeSantis and pro-Biden talking points. It's, it's like one or the other. And it came around around the same time Biden started mentioning his army of influencers and shit like that. I'm wondering if some of it isn't just psyoped and bot farms and shit. But I have noticed this. Ballistic Zero the Shade the two. Tree Killer, the Vampire Underboss. Where the fuck is this fucking prick? Sir, cool. Thank you for the two dollars. I mean, this is gonna be a boss fight, and it's gonna fucking suck. In fact, I should probably have my. Uh... Nintendo Wii mentioned on a previous stream that Soros also funds numerous Republicans too. Do we know which ones? I assume the SC and AR GOP. Are the big ones. I never mentioned that either. Uh, it is true that he has donated to certain uh, Republican candidate. Uh, oh, is that a steak launcher? Certain Republican uh, candidacies, apparently indirectly through like third party and PACs and shit. PACs that Soros has donated to have in turn turned around and donated to PACs who, in well, this is how political funding works. Who in turn have donated to people, uh, you know, rhino candidates, down ticket. That's absolutely happened. And why wouldn't it? If you wanted to undermine your competition, you'd want to foster, you'd want to foster infighting. I heard something, but damn it, Les. The rhinos are probably using the same botnets. Probably. Oh, it's right around here. That's where it's marked on my map. Read that. Uh. 
Blank Frankie, every piece of promo material for this game gave me AIDS. <laughs> now that I've seen the gameplay, I have cancer too. What? <laughs> Okay, just look around, I guess, for this underboss, wherever the fuck they are. It's supposed to be near my safe house. But I'm not seeing the motherfucker. Blake, are you going to be check... Uh, sorry, are you going to be... Are you going by checking out... Jesus Christ, you people. Are you going to be checking out the Red Dead Redemption event down in Tombstone this summer? I love your Western content. Oh, uh... I had heard, like, I guess the cast is supposed to be down in Tombstone, Arizona. Uh, I was in Tombstone not that long ago, but, uh, yeah, it'd be kind of cool. Maybe that safe house? Safe house, did it here. Baron, have you read Dixon's new Conan? And if so, what do you think? Uh, I haven't read it, no. Also, are you I'm sure it's good, though. Dixon knows exactly what he's doing. Also, are you going to do a shadow game? book? And, and what? Oh, am I going to do a shadow book? Yes. When, uh, when the character goes into public domain? Possibly. I have a few ideas. Got him. That's not the underboss. That ain't the underboss for shit. Right in the dick. I saw that. Yup! Put the megaphone down, fuckhead! Bjorn, how are you liking your new journalism job, Razor? What? Scene. Rap and its consequences on music have been a disaster for mankind. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh. What the fuck? I'm pretty sure those were grenades. It looked like grenades. I have no earthly idea what even happened or where any of those people came from. What the fuck was that? Boy, that balance is a uh, hell of a thing, and that. <laughs> All right. Hi. All right, let's get out of here. Skeptical Panda, have you seen any YouTube videos on bot farm networks? Worth a watch. U.S. Democrats were identified as a leading user of them. Oh God, with the music. If you want to call that music. This place ain't killed me yet. Yeah. Yeah, the underboss or whatever is over here, and I don't know where they are. Emperor. They're down to the south. Emperor Creatine. You will witness the final set of Planet Fitness and the end of your insignificant routine. <laughs> Every exercise transpired has feasted according to my meal deal. Oh god, meal deals. The Southern Gentleman. I should say a couple of weeks ago when I asked about swashbuckling westerns, I was picturing things centered around Mexican-American war period. Yeah, I don't know. Zorro's the only one that comes to mind. Emperor Creatine. We'll get to Planet Fitness someday, Arthur. We just need more creatine. Have some goddamn faith. Now 
No? All right. <laughs> Maybe I should have turned that one off. If possibly. Maybe the uh, readables are hints. I, w I wasn't reading them on account of this story is bubbling bullshit. Highland Var, looking for a new Old West game? Square Enix recently dropped a classic called Live Alive. It has a Clint Eastwood cowboy section that is very good. Okay. It's supposed to be a very good game. Composite Frylock, thank you for that 20. Not only are we going to make a Super Mario Brothers movie, we're going to make a Legend of Zelda movie, a Metroid movie, an F-Zero movie, and then we're going to bring it all together and make a Super Smash Brothers movie. I could definitely see that happening. All right. Red that, red that. Bum crack Jones. Fact, fire mandrel players don't exist. Huh? Huh? Megavania fan, now I'm glad I canceled Game Pass. Emperor Creatine. Only a lifter can stop a lifter. I hear something. Rock Jock, what's Razor's weapon of choice for killing vamps in Redfall? Well done, Stace. <laughs> oh, is she protected by magic? Fuck, 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 fuck. Maybe a stake launcher? Shit! Can you hit her with that UV light, maybe? I, I can't because I can't switch to it. I can't. Ah! Don't trust China. China is asshole. Damn it. That was quick. Dude, they drain your health so fucking fast. Shit. Yeah, it was my fault for switching off the stake launcher. I was gonna use that thing, but then I couldn't find the place, so I unequipped it. All right, here we go. Let me grab that stake launcher. Was Composite Frylock. Insert Howard Dean weird yell here. Yeah! John Antagonist didn't know they still made Half-Life conversion mods. Okay, there we go. Got the UV beam launcher and the stake launcher. That should help. You're the one who got this place locked down, right? The Lord Otter. You know, sometimes I doubt my own creative ability in life. Then I look at games like these and realize I'm not doing so bad. No! If this is the standard, then we have little to fear. Safe house, did it here. Andrew Van Halen, I finally finished season one of Deadwood, and I'm very impressed. I'll admit, it was a bit of a slow burn for me, but when the characters settled into their roles, I was hooked by the season finale. Uh, Lampshade, thank you for the 10. The next one will be. Fuck you, bitch! How is that not fucking doing anything? Can you just melee her? Blood suckers are gone. What? That does a lot of damage, though. Is not taking damage. What the fuck? Okay. That worked. That worked a lot better. 
Okay, so note to self. Stake launchers are the way to go. This music eats 11 assholes in rapid succession. You can just mute it in the settings, please. <laughs> Some people in the chat are asking too. It is so unbelievably mind-bendingly bad. Have you been T-posed by the vampires yet? I have not seen that yet. No. Go away. Jesus. Blake, have you ever heard of the metal band Sleep? Of course, yeah. Uh, kind of stoner doom metal band. Good band. I read that one. Opinionated Junkie, thank you for the two. That's a song? Mario, I have really bad scoliosis, and I'm in some medical journals, and my anatomy is less messed up than this streaming pile of crap. <laughs> the Lord Otter, am I deaf yet? Please make the music stop. Oh my god. Ultraman ZX, please mute the music. Also, Hank Hill criticizing pop. Just for that, I'm leaving the music on. What? Whoa. What has the MTV done to you, boy? John Antagonist, this game is the reason my dad left. <laughs> <laughs> he saw you play in Redfall, went out for cigarettes, and never came back. Well, at least mine just didn't love me. Uh, oh, that's terrible. Mr. Luckless, I think I read yours. Yes, I did. All right. I'm saying you don't need modern games when I can just, just stream my PS2. Return to the fire station. Oh my god, the fucking map. The map popped in. Holy shit. This is so fucking badly made. You know what this reminds me of, actually, in terms of, like, it's pseudo-open world, it has texture popping issues everywhere, performance issues everywhere. You know what this fucking reminds me of? What? The Alone in the Dark remake. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. But you know what? That was a better game than it this. It was a much better game than this. Way better. I think that's on Steam now. We could probably play that. You know what? I'm going to add it to the list. Oh, my God. I'm going to add it to the list. That was a fun game. Where's the doctor? I think he's upstairs. This music. Okay. I literally can't. Not even out of spite can I leave this music on. Scarf of the Strange. It's so bad. Between Sudan and Ukraine, we might be in Call of Duty. <laughs> we're now in the Call of Duty timeline. God help us. Nowhere near as good of gameplay. I, honestly, we're more so in the Tom Clancy Splinter Cell timeline at this point. Blake, not enough black trans characters in the game. Fuck, basically replace Georgia with Ukraine, and you've basically got the plot to Splinter Cell 1 going on right now. Uh... Oh, there he is. I thought he was upstairs. Okay. Hey, very funny. Doing all right? <coughs> this 
got the coof. Uh, da, 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 arch magi, mag, I'll get this right one time. Arch mag, magiris, mag, magiris sancti. Forty-five ACP revolvers are awesome. You should stream Ashes twenty sixty-three. I've never heard of it. No, Mithrin, I didn't see it. Sorry, uh, I'm too busy. Re we got a lot of people watching tonight. By the way, uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. At one point, there was 2,000 of you. Okay. Let me check Twitch. I, I don't point. blame hey. people mm -hmm. for not sticking around with this fucking turd. All right, let's see here. Uh... uh Nothing really scintillating. Angry Salt Shaker, thank you for subbing for seven months. Gents, stay strong. Woke Fall isn't that long of a demo, I hear. <laughs> really? Razor. It's not even a long game? Uh, favorite Mega Man boss. Favorite Mega Man boss. <sighs> Shit. I always liked Metal Man. Air Man. For me. Holy fuck is this wrong? <laughs> but holy hell, is it erotic? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like, uh, Metal Man's pretty cool. I liked, um, whatever the fuck a Quanger is. I liked Boomer Quanger. Storm Eagle is the shit. Wasn't he supposed to be a sponge? Huh? Yeah, wasn't Boomer Kranger supposed to be a sponge? Was he not a sponge? No. Oh. There is a sponge later on, though, isn't there? I don't remember. Hey. Thanks again. We'd be lost without you. Uh, Magma Dragoon stands out in my head as a really cool boss. Basically just uh, <laughs> Ryu. Hello. Liquid hot magma. Don't forget to take care of yourself, too. Boomer Kranger was a beetle? No way. That's a no, Japanese. Gravity Beetle was... A beetle. Gravity Beetle was a beetle. What the fuck? It's supposed to be a beetle, apparently. Let's just say inter intermission snack? What? <laughs> Mithrin, Blood Omen 2 is among the three sequels in the titles with Ane Apergeur Noir uh, as one of the main characters. Yeah, he did a lot of voice work. A ton. He was Mr. House. Which Terran still has to play New Vegas. Mm. I just, I, 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 around that time, I just had too much on my plate. Well, and when it came out, it was not worth playing. When it, when it first came out, it was such a fucking broken mess. Uh, especially back then, I, neither you or I had very good gaming PCs. Yeah, so yeah. We we would have had to play the holy fuck fucked up um, console version, just unplayably bad. Oh, Boomer Quanger and Gravity Beater Beetle are supposed to be brothers. What? Okay. Really? That's... Did we just uncover like Mega Man X lore? That's that's a weird one. This I never is heard real? that. This is this is legit. Robot brothers. That's interesting. We're brothers. We're happy and we're singing and we're colored. All right, let's see here. Jovan, yikes! This is probably the worst game you've yet streamed, and you <laughs> once streamed Marvel Ultimate Alliance three. Yikes. Or was that Marvel vs. Capcom 3? We didn't. We never did Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Did yeah. we do Infinite? Did we do? Did we stream Infinite? No. No. Yeah, I don't think we've we've streamed very few fighting games. Because they don't make great streams. I mean, if you were gonna play online and like quarter matches or something like that, like that's a game that could be cool to stream, but. You want to play online competitively and shit if you're going to stream a fighting game. Uh, 
Uh, Jovan, Minecraft has better graphics than this. Don't trust China. <laughs> China is asshole. And less pixelation. Uh, then he goes on to say, this game killed Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Apparently a Kwanger is a kind of stag beetle. What? You're making shit up. Doomsday Machine. Thank you for that 50. I literally got home from a conversation where I had to witness a female co-worker in the midst of a feud between her control freak boyfriend oh, and another co-worker who just came out to me as trans. Both great people. This game is worse. <laughs> God. You hang around some really self-centered people. <laughs> Emperor Creatine, if a white dude and a person of color went fishing, both of them using the exact same tools and bait, and the white guy caught more fish, Wilkes would say the fish are racist, and it's the white guy's fault. Which, of course, they are. These are racist. Did you know that? <laughs> Parlock, apparently... If, if a black guy and a white guy went fishing and both caught a dozen fish... How much chicken would the black guy... I mean, what? 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 Parlock, apparently Gonzalo Lira, was arrested in Ukraine and is facing five to eight years in prison for spreading Russian propaganda. <laughs> what? Giga Mango Fanta. Of these names for the game, which is best? Antifall. Summer of Love. <laughs> Antifall! Anti-Fall, Summer of Love Edition. Oh my god. Read Fall. Bread Tube Fall. Now, see, it couldn't be Anti-Fall because fucking... And it, or Summer of Love Fall. Because a town like this in the fucking Northeast would never tolerate a BLM riot. They would put it down like a fucking prison riot. Never forget... Uh, the fucking waspy... Little small towns that all the coastal assholes who have fucking dragged their nuts politically all over the major cities in a state. Though the towns that those people flee to, these kind of towns, the fucking Stars Hollow fucking middle aged woman fantasy towns, they would never tolerate a BLM riot. Never. They outsource that shit to fucking downtown Cleveland and whatnot. What in the shit? Oh god, it's another Attention, Bajor and workers. This next test oh, will determine your efficiency shit. at breaking rocks. Hail you to pass gets you a one-way trip to Galatip. <laughs> so do your best. Or not. Oh, we wound up getting it anyway. Uh, be careful. You don't want to be sent to Galatip summer camp. Uh, What was I going to say? Oh yeah, never forget about the subject you were talking about. Never forget, was it DeSantis or someone bust 50 yeah. illegal immigrants, just 50, to Martha's Vineyard, and yeah. they called in the National Guard. DeSantis' best optical moment, in my opinion, fucking demolished it. 50. 50. They called it a fucking crisis. And they sat there like kind of, it was such a hilarious reaction. Because they tried to pretend like, oh, we're, we're not mad. We're not. It was the old meme with the crying face with the mask on top. Fucking with the troll face mask in front. It was totally that. The dictionary definition of that. And then 15 minutes after the news cameras stopped running, they immediately shipped them back. Like, oh, 50. That's cute. Yeah. Try living down here, motherfucker. Ooh, did I get a better revolver? I think I did. I, yeah, I think uh, uh, Governor Abbott did that too. At one point. Uh, that 50 came from Metalhead Madman. What did, uh, what did the guy say after getting diagnosed with testicular cancer? Oh, no. Uh, fuck. 
fuck. I don't know. Ah, nuts. Okay. <laughs> that was more obvious than I thought. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a lot more clever than that. I think I put more thought into that than you did. <laughs> oh, uh, Texas sent them to New York. Okay. And Santa sent okay. uh, the 50 to Martha's Vineyard. Gotcha. Deals an extra 10% damage. Shatters petrified enemies. Yo! Uh, I don't have a weapon with a stake, so I probably need to stick with that. DeSantis is still sending them to Chicago. <laughs> Squatch Hammer, I'd rather have well, my... Well, the joke's on DeSantis. Uh, <laughs> Chicago's already got plenty of illegal aliens. Squatch Hammer, I'd rather have my cancerous colon rectum and bunghole surgically removed again than play this game. Again? Again. Doomsday Machine, thank you for the 20. Clarification, Control Freak Boyfriend is not a good person. The girl is. Also, you well, there are good people on both sides. Good people. <laughs> uh, also, you'd be surprised how conservative the trans guy is. More importantly, I have to be around them because, you know, work. You get, you get my 70, not that game. Yes, thank you for the combined 70. Very generous tonight. Giga Mango Fanta, so is there a boss fight in this game where you have to choke restrain a homeless noob <laughs> <laughs> then battle a mob like it's the Resident Evil 5 Africa Horde demo? Oh my god. You remember Yahtzee calling that racist and shit? Yeah. And fucking Sterling. People forget how fucking woke Yahtzee is. Like, he's... Like, all, it's fucking he Africa. Would, he would tongue Hillary's asshole clean, Yahtzee would. Well, the game takes place in Africa. Who are you going to fight? The Spaniards? Right? And he's, oh, gosh, I was hoping for a kung fu fist fight here in fucking Africa. I was hoping to fight Jackie Chan. Uh, read that. Read that. Uh, and yes, Mercenary X, I see your donation. I will get to Streamlabs here shortly. I'm just catching up. Nintendo Wii, thoughts on the 80s metal band Tesla? Uh, they're all right. Not one of my favorites, but still pretty good. Some good songs. They did go way the fuck in on the unplugged nonsense, though, in the 90s. But they're not alone in that. Mercenary X. Boy, that is some high graphical fidelity on that popcorn right there. Look at it just disappear. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Mercenary X. Yahtzee wanted to kill the Dutch in South Africa. Quality. Red that, red that. Happy Mask. Honestly surprised you're playing this game, especially with all the problems with it, uh, De Nuvo included. Uh, we're playing the Series X version for free with Game Pass. Yep. And shitting on it! Absolutely. On, Taking a great big bubbling dump all over it. Thanks for joining us! Bandit. Sounds like there's a 2.0 for the Lincoln video. <laughs> Read that. Why is there just purple mist everywhere in this game? I'm not sure. It's uh, vampire juice. Right. Yo, give me some of that purple. Salt, thank you for the two... Stealth Creations was trying to make a contribution to the Indiegogo page, but it wasn't taking my purchase or my card. Is there any other way to make purchases for a hardcover? Um, after the campaign is over, we'll have uh, the book available through my publisher, but um, not until then. I would just try again or maybe use a different payment processor. I think you can use PayPal and shit like that. If you got a PayPal account, you could. I think you can use that. <laughs> just just try a different payment. Also, check uh, the security settings on your browser. They may that be also, too strict. That also could be it. 
Reaper, every few seconds I watched of this, I'm mentally hearing Gordon Ramsay screaming, It's fucking raw! <laughs> uh, oh shit, I didn't... I didn't find that. Read that, read that. Well, fuck. The what? Big Mike, even IGN gave this game a four. Did they really? They actually had the balls? It's, dude, it's one of those games that is such a mess. It's immutable. Like, <clears throat> I'm more so surprised at them finally admitting that an arcane game sucks ass. Like, did it get the full page ad? No matter what. <laughs> Arcane pinches out. They always pretend it's a fucking work of brilliance. And it's like, dude, they've made so many bad games and, and mediocre ones that people pretended were great. Pause the game. What's up? Emperor Creatine. Hello, Goyim. <laughs> I figured since this game is just that bad, I'd give you guys $70 instead of Arcane. That's right. $50. 30 crisp greenbacks. A whole $15. He donates $5. Lachaim. <laughs> Rabbi Gold... What was his name? Goldstein von Schekelblatt? Or something like that. I <laughs> forget the name. Ooh. Come on out. Okay. Whoa, Damn. what the fuck? Why is she trying to Oh. Uh what the shit? Well that was bull. Two can play at that game, bitch. I know you're here. Yikes! Fuck! Fuck! In the head. In the tits. All right, there we go. Three. Yeah, I've already got one of those, but that's a better version of it, I guess. Okay, whatever. Shackley Rusterford watched <laughs> The Dark Valley on your recommendation and loved every minute of it. It's such a cool movie. Any idea where I can watch Pale Rider? I didn't see it on Tubi TV. Oh. Pluto uh, might have it. It's not on Tubi. Um, Might be on Pluto. Sometimes it pops up on Netflix or Amazon Prime. You might just want to get it on Blu-ray. I don't know if you if you like physical media. It's a good movie. It's definitely worth having physically. I think they just released like some fancy pants edition for it too. Like just recently. Can we Giga Mango Fanta? I guess we can call this game the Dylan Mulvaney of Xbox exclusives. Yikes. What a shame. From dude and Xbox Series X started out so strong with fucking Hitman 3 being an exclusive. And then this. Like, what the fu Then there was a long period of nothing. And then this fucking turd. Yikes. Super and, happy fun time. And that was an two. actual exclusive for once, by the way. I, I forgot about that. Normally, you know, Xbox exclusives, it's PC and Xbox, but that was a case where Epic had, like, bribed IO Interactive. So, you know, no one was going to buy the PC version because <laughs> fuck Epic Game Store. So this literally, uh, Hitman 3, was actually a Series X exclusive. All right, let's see here. Mr. E, Tears and Rain is Tony Soprano. I can't. Yeah, I can't yeah. do no. I can't do it either.
Wait out the Gabagoo. Ultraman ZX, the Knight Rider intro as Hank Hill. I I don't know how to what is it again? Knight Rider. A shadowy flight to the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Oh, you like to watch, do you? Did you see uh, that video that came out of like an advertisement back in the 80s of David Hasselhoff advertising the Kit Kit? Tonight I dine on turtle. Uh, Luke. no. You could send in, or, or you could send away for your free Kit Kit. It was like some promotional thing for Knight Rider. I mean, I believe it. It had like schematics or something for, of Kit or that something like cool. that. That sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. Needs power, dude. This is pure dying light. This is literally exactly what you do for your safe houses in dying light. You turn the power on and then you can use them. I am stunned that there's no pot here. Stunned that Arcane Austin had the fucking discipline. All right. Oh, how far in are we? Oh, we're good. All righty. Let's do Streamlabs. Matthew Hammond, what is Sony doing to Square Enix? Does Square not realize that they could probably sweet talk Microsoft into throwing money their way? They could play both sides against the middle and make their nut coming and going. And this has been the problem for Square Enix is I honestly think there is a part of Square Enix. When you get, when you watch interviews with people who have worked for Western studios that Square Enix used to own, like Eidos and fucking IO and shit, and they all say the same thing. If Square Enix could make $100 million in America or $20 million in Japan they would rather make $20 million in Japan. They're just, it's like, cause it's, it's not cause they're like racist against Americans or anything. It's cause it's what they know. They're stuck in their ways. There was a part of that interview with Stefan Dastus that I um, didn't include in my rant where he was talking about how they went over to Japan to look at how they make games and his jaw hit the floor. Because they're still making games like the same way. Now, it may have changed since then, but they were still making Final Fantasy games the same way they had in, like, the 90s. Where, like, they would make an art asset, like a character or whatever, that would be a complete one-off and would not be a part of a system and would they'd never use them again. A complete waste of money, not the way that you would you would create a modern game and super pricey and a big reason why Final Fantasy games are taking so fucking long to come out right but it was it was in insane they're like there there are advantages to doing that but there are huge disadvantages because it takes longer and you know whatever just really weird um, while I'm doing this let me actually grab the chat Connect to rooftop antennas. Dude, this is dying light. This is literally a quest in dying light. Gold Ducat did nothing wrong. All right. After this in Fallout 76, just imagine how big of a dumpster fire Starfield's going to be. Or Elder Scrolls 6 when that comes out in 90 years. At this rate, Elder Scrolls 6 is just going to brick your PC as soon as you install it. <laughs> <laughs> also, the coolest Mega Man boss is Vile. I th I mean, granted, that's first-party Bethesda. I'm sure it'll be glitchy as fuck, because every Bethesda game is. But um, I don't think it'll be busted like this. Arcane are in a league of their own. Charvale, I did my purchase of Ghost of the Badlands just after you reached 200k. Right on! Had to wait for the first, and I am looking forward to reading your story. Yeah, dude, I think you're going to dig it. Giga Mango Fanta. If they make a Rittenhouse DLC for this game, I think it'll redeem some quality of this <laughs> cringe 
uh, faster than a round redeeming uh, a rioter's right arm to spaghetti. Yikes. Narnia. Why is this game so bad? Like, holy Christ, this looks boring. <laughs> Thanks for suffering for terrible, us. Terrible, bro. Uh, it's like half of an idea. Half finished. <laughs> right? Matthew Hammond, did you hear what Warner Brothers CEO, CEO said? He wants Trump on CNN Town Hall. He said all voices should be heard on CNN. He's the front runner. He has to be on our network. It makes sense. A plus, he's trying to turn things around at Warner Brothers who are bleeding money and have been for some time. So what is he thinking, right? Who's the guy who who fucking draws ratings? Biden's State of the Union was the lowest rated fucking State of the Union in how many fucking years? But Trump passes wind and it's like bloody murder headlines for days because he draws ratings. He does. People who hate him want to watch programming about him so they can fucking seethe and people who love him want to watch him because you know it's trump he's hilarious and entertaining same bird sound effects as skyrim dude people have been using a certain set of sound effects yeah. for, in gaming for like the past 25 30 years yeah, like I, the horse sound in in fucking Daggerfall is still being used. Is today. still being used, absolutely, absolutely. the The door opening sound effect in Daggerfall you still hear all the time in movies. The crank sound you hear in fucking Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil, that that yep. still gets used. The fucking footsteps that you hear on metal grating in Resident Evil still used today. I th I could have sworn I heard it earlier. In this game, when you were walking on the pier or whatever. Uh, Crusader Saracen. Joke. Redfall sucks. Broke. Death loop sucks. Woke. Prey sucks. Bespoke. Everything Arcane has ever made, including Dishonored, sucks. Because, <laughs> Arca because Arcane fucking sucks. Thank you! Time it just it still drives me nuts that fucking Arcane did all those interviews calling Dishonored a spiritual successor to Thief and shit. And then the game comes out and it's really nothing like Thief. It's fucking Bioshock with a steampunk skin on top. And I give it a shitty review on that basis. I'm like, y you told us it was going to be something completely different. And then everybody's like, you just wanted it to be Thief. It's like, yeah, stupid, because they said it was going to be Thief. They said it was going to be Thief for fucking months. I didn't invent that. They did. <laughs> but it's just it, the uh, the capacity of game journalists and fans of Arcane to simp for this fucking terrible company is really a, a thing to behold. Chaim Shekelstein Goldberg. Shalom, my fellow Goyim. Congratulations on surpassing 200k. <laughs> Mazel tov. <laughs> you know who could sure use some of those extra shares? Uh oh! Our good friends at the ADL. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. This game is a mix between Far Cry 2 and Stalker, right? Oh my god. What an insult to Far Cry 2. Yeah, why Far Cry 2? At least Far Cry 4. Way Jack to go, Protein Shank. Yikes. Hail no uh, Jack the Outcast, Hail Nosferatu Razor, and Malkavian Gel. <laughs> I just finished the main part of Death Mask and binge read The Last Ronin. Razor versus Comics Usagi Yojimbo video in the future. Question mark. Godspeed. Uh, I don't know. I need to read more Usagi Yojimbo comics to tell you the truth. I've read a few. I mean, Usagi Yojimbo is still being published when I worked at a comic store, so I could check it out and stuff, and I did a few times. It was good. 
But um, I need to read more, honestly, before I could make a video about it. Mercenary X. There's more news about Epstein. Apparently more documents came out that showed Obama was on the island during his presidency. Now we know what he I can he believe meant. it. I mean, I bet he held fundraisers and shit there. Now we know what he meant by hot dogs and pizza. Holy crap, the character descriptions on these guys. And yes, I assume their gender. <laughs> oh shit! Fuck. That Ow. my fanfiction writing is better than this. At least I put effort into that right. What I write. God, whoa, the chugging. Are you seeing that? If you run down the street, it chugs like you just punched it in the balls. G.I. Joe. My God, Razor, did Terran put a gun to Cicero's head? Why is this woke garbage gracing the hollowed <laughs> halls of Razor Fist Arcade? Because it's hilariously bad. I need to go to the set. Mercenary X. Sorry, Razor, but no, I do not give an F about the plot. Open my money oh. on Jet Eye Survivor. Oh, pfft. <laughs> Fucking voice the text. I'll put my money on Jedi Survivor before I buy this crap. I played this game at someone else's house more than 1.5 second delay. Insane, dude. Also, thank you for retweeting my picture about downtown San Diego. Uh, is that a vampire? Or is that a statue? A year ago, there was no homeless this this bad. Boy, fucking translating this shit is hard. They actually try to clean up during Trump. Now police can't do anything. Oh, just missed. Oh, damn. Fozzie Bear, the Vampire Slayer. Due to the success of the Iron Age, I have been inspired on doing a comic series set during the Portuguese Age of Exploration in the 1500s. Ah, it's a scarecrow I was looking at. Still workshopping the story a bit, though. Godspeed. Good. We'll keep rocking with it. One Man Army 2, Electric Boogaloo. Knew this game was going to be trash, reading the character descriptions, lol. The golf, oh, yeah. The moment you saw that first trailer and it was like, they introduced the whole cast and it was like, checklist item, checklist item, checklist item. Fuck. Uh, I have no part idea what the fuck this means, but uh, also Pantera rules is what it does. It means he has inoperable brain damage. Uh, the master, will this game get overview? Fuck you, Lawn Gnome. Oh, I can't kill him. That's lame. You donate again and you just type in new. I got that part. What the fuck does the Gaul the Get Military MOS is messed up? What? What the fuck does that mean? Don't donate again to replace new with new. I got that. Whoa. Right in the dick. Right in the arm. Right oh. in the kisser! Oh, that was pretty good. I'll give you credit for that one. This place ain't killed me yet. Fucking raw! Alright, there we go. Oh man, I wish I could ride that right out of this fucking game. The Grizzly. In good horror news, they're doing a new run of the Creepshow comics. The original has art by Jack Kamen. Uh-huh. Uh, it's really beautiful colored pencil work. The movies Ooh. are good, too. Nice. A military MOS is a job description? Okay. Well, he didn't type that. Uh, oh, okay. What I've got actually does more damage. Okay. Mercenary X. Also agree with you, Razor, on Midnight's Edge. Huh? Silent Hill, the first movie, was the first good video game movie outside of Mortal Kombat. 
the very act, good, very good movie. The act, uh, actors actually were forced to play it to the end. That really? I didn't know that. Apparently, Harry Belafonte passed away last month. Yeah, I thought he was dead too. How do I get? Okay, I see. Mr. C Mr. E's absurdity. And Jerry Springer just kicked it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we disagree on prey, and I like Dishonored, but how does Arcane keep getting away with making these fuck ups? You're gonna end up in Japanese <laughs> hell. A disgrace to your ancestors. <laughs> Everything they do has something kind of or fairly terrible about it. Crazy. Narnir, how is it this game looks so generic and terrible? Because that's for the that's the audience. Yep. That's the intended audience. Generic gruel crap for people that play this shit. Where's the source of the signal? Oh, I see. Super duper. Are there any Western or Southern horror movies you can recommend? Okay, the theater that I was just in, apparently. Uh, Western horror? I mean, Bone Tomahawk is definitely uh, turns into a horror film at the end. A slasher film, if I'm being honest. I don't care for that movie, though. Yeah. I really can't name that many. Ooh. Propane tank. So har hard trying to fine tune aim. All right, here we go. Oh shit! Of course. That's not how this works. Almost dead. Oh fuck! Also, thoughts on the music of Robert Johnson, the man who sold his soul for rock and roll. Shit. Did chat GPT make this game? <laughs> That's pretty good. It certainly feels like it wrote it, at least. I'm not familiar with uh, Robert Johnson. I've heard some of his stuff. It's pretty good if you like blues. Yeah, not a big blues guy, unfortunately. I mean, I recognize that it's good, but... Mr. E, does anyone remember the Splinter Cell movie teaser trailer on Chaos Theory? Do you oh, think yeah. that series would make it for a good film franchise? Could be pretty cool, yeah. I think you could make a Splinter Cell movie real easy. Uh, DD, good evening. I luckily found a Spanish hardcover version of Elric for a Mother's Day gift. I have not been able to find Spanish versions of Conan and Solomon Kane. Can you help out? I wish I could. In America, the Solomon Kane stuff is by Marvel, so I don't know who in a Spanish language would be translating that. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, damn it. There we go. Okay, where the fuck is this other asshole? Oh, 
all weird. Oh, shit. There's a turret. Where the fuck? Are they spawning out of thin air? That would be another lovely little fucking design fuck up. That's better. Alright, there we go. spawn like cyberpunk I'm noticing some of the same design flaws as uh, as cyberpunk incidentally you mean unfinished <laughs> oh, you gonna do something or just stand there and bleed cyberpunk's problems were not lack of finish as we've certainly learned since I mean certainly it was a glitchy piece of shit but it's it's the bad design choices to begin with that can't be fixed because they're just bad ideas. Hey, I, Joe. I wanted to run this by you too for the lols. Someone in Moscow ran a wire aqua across a CCTV feed, strung up a $250 oh, drone, rigged it up with fireworks, and exploded it. Really? Interesting. Why were there so many of these motherfuckers over here? Hack video essayist. Hey! Arcane Studios, the masters of the immersive sim. Oh my god! The only studio who is keeping this dying genre alive. A seven part series. <laughs> <laughs> A nine hour seven part series. Medieval syphilis, give a synopsis of your new book in Trump's voice. Uh, no. <laughs> but thank you. Crossfire, thank you for the nine. Jesus. Uh, Terran. Oh like God, Razor told you and go to your room. You ruined my joke last week. Better yet, get back under that bridge and suck the lemon. Razor, would I be accurate in describing Jedi Souls 1 as the most okay Star Wars game ever? It certainly is a game. I don't know. We, you should ask Terran. He was the one who played it live. Remember that? Uh, is it mediocre compared to the games which came before it? Yes. Yes. But it wasn't unpleasant. It wasn't unpleasant. It is laughable that anything withstands a dozen hits with a lightsaber. No shit. <sighs> Last one. Been watching some videos of Jedi Souls 2. See if it might be worth picking up when it hits $20 or so. From what I've seen, it looks interesting. They made improvements, but yeah, I'm not I'm not picking that up until it's fucking on sale. Okay, here we go. Mr. Reese, quick question, what are your thoughts on the other Maxwell Grant Theodore Tinsley? Uh Theodore Tinsley was a really good actually a really good shadow uh, writer of the Shadow Pulps. So for those who don't know, the Shadow Pulps were written with a house name Maxwell Grant. Even though Walter Gibson was the guy who wrote the vast majority of them, he wrote like there's like over 300 of them, and he wrote almost 300 by himself. But some were written by other authors, and one of those was uh, probably the the second most prolific was Theodore Tinsley. His shadow stories, the shadow was more like vulnerable, kind of. And they were more action-packed and a little bit less mysterious and, you know, they weren't as atmospheric for sure. 
but he still had a good writing style and some of his stories were really interesting. They were just more like pulp action hero kind of stories. He was the one who wrote um, Partners of Peril, the one, the story that the first issue of Batman wound up being a copy of. Mr. Reese, quick question. What are your thoughts on the other... Oh, sorry. I read that. Mall War. Any hope for Starfield? Yeah. Actually, some of the stuff that I've seen, like some of the, the way that they're going to handle dialogue and shit, that's actually encouraging. They're, they're not doing dialogue wheels or anything. Dialogue is actually going to be like you're going to select different responses and shit. You know, some of the stuff that I've seen has actually been somewhat encouraging. I don't know. I'll give it a whirl. I some of the I'm not uh, gonna pre order it. I'm not that stupid. Some of the cosmetics stuff and like textures and shit kinda bother me. Like in that pre first gameplay preview I could have sworn one of the NPCs in the background, like one of their heads did it like three sixty. <laughs> and uh, when the guy's loading the shotgun, you're sticking like it's either like round shells into a square hole. Yeah. Shit like that bothers me. Yeah, I did notice that. The jetpack shit looks wonky as fuck. What is it with the sci-fi games and the fucking jetpacks all of a sudden? With the fucking... Mass Effect Andromeda had this obsession for some reason. Yeah. What is with the jetpacks, guys? Just make a Rocketeer game and get it over with. Stop wedging it into our fucking sci-fi games. We don't care. Outrider, evening, chaps. Razor, do you store your shadow pulps in protective sh uh, protective sleeves? If so, what kind? Uh, some of them, yeah. Like Silver Age size comic bags will work. Okay. Katsu, look less of a Left 4 Dead clone and more of a Borderlands clone, but st still butthole cancer though. HP Lovecraft. This Metastatic game, butthole cancer. This game looks like ass with a red filter on top. Then again, I shouldn't really be surprised considering it's arcane. I fucking detest the art style of all of their games. Oh, the fuck! Okay, that was really close. Alright. Let's get in here because apparently I missed something. Mercenary X. Stop what you're doing right now and turn off the Xbox One. And you mean the Series X? And boot up the PC with Hunt Showdown. No, seriously, Razor has. To, this has to be an intervention to help you stop beating yourself up. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely play Hunt sh soon. What do you say we do like a Monday stream? Cause yeah, because the event just started. We'll do like a Twitch exclusive or maybe unauthorized exclusive. Yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. We something like that. Have maybe to. just Twitch and unauthorized. And, uh, and we'll rock and roll with some Hunt Showdown just as a nice palate cleanser. Uh, I'll tell you this much, Razor. Boy, me, uh, we were playing th uh, trios recently, Taryn and I and a friend, and that was a blast. Mm. Even though we died a lot. Yeah, yeah, there's always that. I'll tell you this much, uh, Razor. Hi-Fi Rush is a better game than this. As for salting the earth on the game industry, it's coming with the market crash. PAX West, Bancorp failed. There is a yellow circle here, so I think I need to search for something that I'm not finding. To look around, look around. Congratulations, you just received a hundred messages today with Restream chat. Are you are you okay, Restream? The We've been on for hours. HP Lovecraft, Tears and Rain is red green. <laughs> I've uh, seen things you people wouldn't believe. <laughs> Deck ships, you know, on fire, eh? Off the shoulder of Orion. Keep your stick on the ice. G.I. Joe, when will we, when will we, the Razor Force, be blessed with uh, the near mythical meme of Terran making his fucking battle tech character? Oh my god. 
It, it, it's uh, let's see, it, it's the 300k uh, uh, goal for the comic. You see. Sure. So go support That's that. That's better. Hi, Cicero. Don't you cough on me. Ah, stop it. Big son of a bitch. You just constantly coming over to me for pets. Film missing. What am I gonna, is there like a snuff film or? I thought that was his last name. Phil missing. I, I see what you did there. I, I don't like it, but I see what you did. I'm not paying attention, really, so. <laughs> go. go lay down. Uh, Norm McDonald's 9-11 Airlines. <laughs> After simping for James Gunn and that Cuties movie, can someone please hack Movie Bob and report him to the FBI? Whoa. Chris to the J, the control delay is long enough that it's synced with the audio delay I get in my car while driving. Nice. Which is about a good one or two seconds. How does this get by QA testing? You want to know the real truth? It probably didn't. Right. Towards the last few months of development, game devs start to ignore QA testers. Right. And QA testers are encouraged to not find any bugs. It, it, it's, it's a bad business, that. Oh, here we go. I didn't see this. Cicero, relax. He hears something outside. He hears something. He's a big boy. Mr. E's absurdities Tiny and atrocities. Old stud. Hey, hey there, buddy. This is one of those games you could catch on sale for two dollars and still feel ripped off. Right. I got it for free, and I feel fucking ripped off. G.I. Joe, good to see the number one seed uh -oh. for the returning Rageaholic Presents Top 10 Turds of Gaming 2023 edition. Alright. I don't like this. Okay, well, we know how this goes. The stake launcher is the way to go with these guys. Yes. Wonder Woman's Taco Bell job. <laughs> Where would Bronson eat if he had lived on DS9? The Klingon restaurant? The Replimat? Or would... Or would he think Quark's is fun? And he didn't walk. He run. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I could see him eating at the Klingon restaurant. He can get some good racht. What the fuck? Summon a ghostly rifle. That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. That Keep is playing. the stupidest fucking fanfic horseshit. Keep playing, you'll run into worse. I'm I sure. have ever heard. This game is the reason I picked up smoking again. Hey, I found the repair kit. Cool, so I don't think I have to boss fight, but I'm gonna anyway, because I'm stupid. I heard you. I did. Watch out. Looks like a real Hello! Oh no. Holy shit, the reload on this thing. I know. Fuck you and your purple balls. What the fuck? Got her. Mouthy ass vampires. No shit. 
Every bitch with a black low-cut dress sh thinks she's Elvira. I'm not happy with how this game has been morbing out. <laughs> Man, there has been a disappointing lack of morb jokes. Two morbs out of ten. Right? Neelix is bad cooking. What was your favorite episode of the original TMNT cartoon? I'm going to guess the Maltese hamster. No, actually, it was the episode where... And just because it was a Leonardo episode and I'm a Leonardo simp, it was uh, the episode where Leonardo's afraid of snakes and he has to, like, charge through the greenhouse full of snakes and shit to overcome his fear. I don't know. I just always liked that episode. Plus, I, I just liked Leonardo. Uh, one of my favorites is Shredded and Splintered. Yeah, it's a very good episode. I just remember watching that episode as a kid and loving it. Bored sigh. <laughs> you and me both. Uh, Frizzle Fry, God effing speed. Hope you guys are well. Uh, hails from upstate New York. Fan of New Wave of Heavy Metal. Satan Razor? New Wave? I don't think I've heard them yet. Saw them in Troy last month. The original band Satan, I've heard a lot of, uh, uh, quite a bit, and they're pretty good. And apparently Night Demon opened. Yeah, Night Demon's a good band. Out of California, but I will not hold that against them. Matt Walsh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Why can't conservatives create art? Why can't conservatives win the culture? What you're making, comics and anime and games? Fuck you, man, baby. Buy my shitty grift instead. <laughs> As a rule, if there's a dude trying to sell you a book on what it is to be a man, step one in being a man is calling that motherfucker out for being a bullshit Same merchant. Shit, different day. That's, uh... Step numero uno, folks. Pitch black. So, what you're saying is that this game might have been good if Anita Sarkeesian didn't use the studio as her own glass coffee table. Yikes! I don't know. It seems like a pretty bad idea to begin with. But. Fuck. Enough of the Matrix warping. God, these are annoying. They, they are obnoxious. All they do is charge at you. That's better. And of course, there's another one. Okay, yep. Get it next to the can. No get more it. Oh. Didn't Come see on, it? bitch. May not have. Okay, good. Leave. <laughs> it is so not worth fucking with these. Yeah, just go. Just go. Hollow Man PR Cultist. No, turning into a vampire is not evil, as some of the right would suggest. It's simply supernatural affirming care. No one is coming for your kids, guys. Fix the popcorn machine. This is literally a mission, guys. This is literally a mission. Yellowstone Cowboy. Well, hey there! Now listen here, partner. Homeless crackheads have harassed me, robbed me, stabbed me, and masturbated at me on trains. Oh my god. But I ain't gonna put them in a chokehold, because I mind my own business. <laughs> An old chunk of coal. Hey! Good taste is just like diabetes, eugenics, snack cakes, and pedophilia. Movie Bob wants to promote it all. <laughs> oh, wait, that's just diabetes, eugenics, and snack cakes, and pedophilia. <laughs> Jackson Hines, remember that time Alan Moore wrote a pro-cop riot that was so violent Dr. Manhattan teleported them all away. 
Thank oh, you hey. for calling oh, Watchmen out today. for the garbage that it is. It sure is crap. Scarfy the Strange, I feel like Game Guru devs can make a better game than this. I have played RPG Maker games that are more elaborate and better designed than this. Didi. Razor, which one of these Lift Wars was your favorite? A new workout. The gym membership renewal strikes back. Or the return of the Taibo. Revenge of the Lift? Thank you and good night. <laughs> Angry salt sh shaker. Redfall music was probably composed by Obama. It has that urban, how do you do, fellow kids, feel it about does, it. Does, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. How do you do, fellow ethnic minorities? G.I. Joe is Arcane Studio Patient Zero for the Made in China Fodemic. Oh my god. Mad TV's Steven Seagal. So between the summer of love... Movie Bob, Assigned Male Comics, New Trek, and this game. How lame are people who complain about rent and landlords on Twitter? Okay. <laughs> uh, I still Mr. need Boy, medical supplies. Is he, is he just out? know what it's like to have the people we trust turn on us. I'm sorry about your people. They ain't my people. <laughs> Never was. Never ha, was. Ha, ha, ha. What? What was that? That was the you. raven. Because now everybody's got to have a hand that talks to them. So, you know. One thing I'm not looking forward to in that fucking Pinocchio game. Like, I, you need the fucking thing along, like, the, the fucking comic relief to follow you everywhere in every hey. game now. Is that you playing guitar downstairs? It's nice. You know, if Movie yeah. Bob's hand could talk, Glad it would like say, it. Mm, mm, mm. How you doing? <sighs> All right. Matthew Let's Hammond. see here. Did you see in the Daily Mail that the in New York's uh, subway dude who headlocked the multiple arrest and released dude who what? later died was doxxed by the Marine Corps. That's one way to say that. Shit, goddamn. <laughs> uh, you're just talking about the Marine who had locked the dude. He got doxxed by the Marine Corps, apparently. I, I could believe it. The uh, Marine Corps is a fucking... It's essentially uh, been subsumed by ideologues, I think, as we are all aware, unfortunately. Why is she pregnant? Does somebody want to explain that to him? There was no father. <laughs> By the way, she is in the Dark Valley. The guy was talking about the western, the Dark Valley earlier. Really? Yeah, Shmi Skywalker's in the Dark Valley. Yeah. Vampire Hunter D's nuts. <laughs> As Donald J. Trump, some come up to the lab and see what's on the slab. I see you shiver with anticipation. What? The fucking Rocky Horror Picture Show quote. I don't know. I've never seen it. Angry Salt Shaker. Razor, have you s been kidnapped? Sorry, what? Have you been keeping up with the Isanzo updates? Yes. Yes, I have, actually. Um, they're going to be doing a new one, and actually, we might get a little early access to it, so we might be able to stream it early. Oh, really? Yeah, it's sounding that way. So um, I'll try and get that ready to go. Joven, thank you for the 10 bits. Why does this level design remind me of infamous Second Son? Oh my god, this is so shit. Also, Tim Pool uh. had the surfs on last night. While I think giving airtime to any bread tuber is a mistake, uh. it was fun seeing Tim tell him the left were pure evil and only want chaos to his face. He continues, this game is so cheap, I swear. I heard the falling boulder sound effect from fucking Nanosaur. Who signed off on this? You guessed it. Frank Stallone. Yeah. He continues again. Lol, this game has ghost guns. Do us all a favor. Don't tell the ATF. 
Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Look at me missing. Where Holy are, shit, dude. That is a classic example of the input delay because you, like, you literally try and adjust and then you overcorrect because it's taking so long for your fucking stick to move. See, also Bob Dole. Saying Blade asks, what's a bread tuber? A fucking idiot. Scarfy you know those people who you'll are, you'll try to tell them the crimes of communism, and then you spend the next four <sighs> hours watching them deftly evade, fucking dodge raindrops, basically, contorting themselves into mental knots, trying to explain how every instance of a negative thing happening in the history of socialism and communism wasn't real socialism and communism. Yeah, those people. That's what bread tube is. That that's what that is. Scarf of the Strange, is Corn Pop a boss character in this? <laughs> there are some bad dudes in this game. And badly rendered dudes in yes. this game. Yes! FX Caliber, what are your thoughts on the 24 election thus far? Ah, uh, it's kind of early to tell. Yeah, it's pretty early to say. Like, most people... I mean, I mentioned DeSantis failing in the polls, but it's it's super, super early. I do yeah. still think the damage is reversible. Oh, yeah, and Stefan explained why bread, because they think bread lines are good. Yes, that's correct. That's a good... Uh, that's a good thing. Sorry. All right, let's see here. Rap, ba, 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 ba. Super happy, fun time. Thank you for the two. Uh... Uh, Scabrious, Scabrious Witch, Wretch, sorry. Uh, thank you for the two. What is over there? What's in here that needs to be lockpicked? Scarf the Strange, thank you for the two. Hello. Uh, nothing too great. I'll salvage it. Salvage you two. What Bong the, Sips, Donatello was always a black science nerd, Leo is Japanese, Raph is Italian, and oh Donnie god. is a white surfer dude. Oh my god. Well that's uh, it ladies and gentlemen, the dumbest thing I've ever heard. We've had a couple of those tonight. Oh yeah, a few. MC Corleone, everyone buy Anthem's Crimson and Jet Black now. It is damn good. It's damn good. I finally got my copy delivered. It's yet another fucking banger from Anthem. They just don't know how to make bad albums. What the fuck is this? Looks like an AUG. Auto shotgun. Good shit. Uh, Jim Farm, what do you think about RFK Jr. running? It, you know, it's it's good to have a blue dog Democrat that isn't fucking Tulsi running. And could Tulsi change parties, right? You need that in the Democratic Party to kind of shine a light on how fucking in barkingly insane the mainstream Democratic platform has become completely fucking unhinged. Uh, and he's got the Kennedy uh, name, which means automatically going to draw a certain amount of support. Devil Lord, do you think the GOP will ever realize that they need Trump, or will they die on the never-Trumper hill? It doesn't really matter. They'll... <laughs> It doesn't matter because the old way of the GOP functioning is never going to work. I don't care how many people simp for the Matt Walsh wing. It's it's just not going to work. We've been here before. This shit where we pretend that quote unquote winning a victory on some social some nebulous social Locker. issue Locker is here. more important than being sell, sold out militarily and governmentally 
Like that, gang, that was the Rhino platform for years. That was John McCain's platform. That was George W. Bush's platform. That was Romney's platform. That's never Fire. happening again. That's never happening again. And that's just the reality. So it's like, you can either accept it, or you can just die in denial. That will no longer be the case whether Trump is around or not. Tyler, I think dispensational theology is behind the right's impulse to retreat from culture and the institutions. Christianity needs its balls back. I, I have to heartily agree with that. Okay. Again, it's like you win. What, what you realized over the course of the Trump presidency was you get more social victories by not making your entire platform about social issues. Because the Overton window naturally shifts, right? Even Matt Walsh, who's beating his chest, and among other things, about fucking how many moral victories he's won with his fucking documentary being played during a sec uh, um, session of Congress in Tennessee leading to the passage of that uh, gender mutilation law. Like, he, I mean, okay, he was tertiarily involved in that, got it, but that session of Congress doesn't happen if the Overton window doesn't shift to the right. And that happened because of Donald Trump, a president that Matt Walsh avowedly opposed and still does. He's a never Trumper and still is. Y you got to understand you, you catch more flies with honey. If you want to use that analogy, Trump scored more social victories just by getting elected and by not making it a part of his central platform. You start doing this focus on the family, Pat Robertson, James Dobson bullshit. You you are not going to get with anyone. And you're not going to get what you want in terms of the social victories. This, this shit where the, the Matt Walsh formula has been tried and doesn't work. Whoa, shit. The Grizzly, speaking of Xbox, right. what's your opinion of the UK regulators shooting down the Activision Blizzard purchase and saying they can't try again for another 10 years? I mean, UK going to UK. It is what it is. You'd be hard-pressed to... I think what you're really seeing there is pushback against basically an American government-mandated monopoly, which is really what Microsoft has been since their antitrust hearings. That's why I oppose antitrust. You, you make these monopolies permanent. See also my... Wow, look at that quality. Look at that fucking quality. Just can't damn. Still to this like day... Like fucking we Madonna's bush. Are still you to this that? day, we can't get it right. We still have fucking collision shit. Uh, dude, Just look clipping at the through fucking sh texture on this thing. Yeah. It's like a bunch of green snowflakes. Look, to, look to your left. Uh, go back. All right, move to the right a little bit. Look to your left now just right there that that leaf <laughs> that's just below your crosshair uh -huh. it's a fucking 2d thing right it's it's all 2d the whole thing like we're using ps1 graphics dude that's here. that's n64 era what engine is this i've heard it's on real four you fucking a stalled engine It's a Model T engine. <laughs> uh, Zane, did you ever play Total, Annihil Total Annihilation or Supreme Commander? Uh, I did play a little bit of Total Annihil Annihilation back in the day, yeah. Used to play a little bit of that on LAN parties over at Tactical Hobo's place back in the day. In the 90s. 90s LAN parties, my dudes. Nastasa. There really is nothing like a 90s land party. You guys have no idea what you missed out on. Seinfeld question. What is the most stupid but funny episode? Stupid but funny episode? The, the limo episode where he gets That's mistake. not stupid. That's just a really, really good episode. Yeah. The fucking limo episode is fucking hilarious. But... Um, For me, it's maybe the one with the man's ear and the bro. That's kind of stupid. 
He says, oh, sorry, she says, for me, it's The Blood. Just for The, the Blood t- is, yeah, that's a really good episode, but also fucking retarded. For Caligula, George. I can feel his blood borrowing from mine. That's true. I can, I can feel his blood inside me, borrowing things from my blood. <laughs> That's a really stupid one. Also the one where Newman gets stranded and goes, and suddenly the episode veers off into this weird, like, kind of movie parody thing where Newman is on, like... The rand he's being taken in by the random rural guy who has the hot daughter who inexplicably is attracted to fucking Newman. <laughs> and he winds up ramming the daughter. <laughs> she, like, it's just the dumbest fucking shit, but it's funny. Jovan, thank you for the 15 bits. Will we ever see something like guns in Night Vale? Um... Uh, I don't think the universe, at least in that timeline, in in that particular... Because keep in mind, I have about 2,000 years of history mapped out for that particular setting. So time and technology progresses. But no, they just came... They, if you read the um, supplementary shit at the in the appendix of Death Mask, you'd know that the Age of Endeavor was the previous um sort of time period um that just passed and during that period they just got kind of mass naval travel together right naval technology took a pretty major leap forward so they're still kind of mired in like technology is still not quite there yet so i wouldn't say no they they do have crossbows though so they are getting to that place Uh, when will we see when will the neocons and other traders realize that the right has moved past them I mean this is basically what what we're witnessing right now is kind of interesting we're sort of witnessing the subsumation of the republican party by a wing of the republican party that hasn't really existed in a long time the Republican Party, people kind of, because people accept the false premise of the partisan flip. By the way, that would be an addendum to the super chat from earlier about a chapter in an American history that I would like added to the textbooks. The myth of the partisan flip desperately needs to be, uh, we need to take some fucking white out to that because that just didn't happen. Um, the truth is we had two, we had a statist Hamiltonian Republican Party under Lincoln that never changed that's still what they are guys they're Hamiltonian it's not that they're pretending to be conservatives and going the speed limit it's that they don't want to be conservatives they are not conservatives by nature these are Hamiltonians they believe in top-down federal governance that's why they're proposing top-down federal governance solutions that's why Matt Walsh is talking about legislating morality and things like that because this is he's a Hamiltonian this is this is our byplay. It's Jefferson versus Hamilton. It's not Republican Democrat. Because what happened after the Civil War is the Democratic Party, which had been the conservative party, it had been the Jeffersonian Party, was taken over by former Whigs and Republicans who couldn't get elected in the South. So the Democrats, which had been Jeffersonian, became Hamiltonian. That's not a partisan flip. It's a takeover of one of the American political parties. And then they just went ham with that, right? The Democrats basically today have out-Republicaned the Republicans. It's really what you're witnessing here. So they're not going to accept this. You understand, these establishment Republicans are actual Republicans. They are Lincolnian Republicans. And they're going to have to be forcibly put out to pasture. Because they do not believe in conservatism and never did. And the sooner you accept that, look at the, probably the, the president, probably my favorite president, who um, should get more credit for reorienting, reorienting a wing of the Republican Party to actual conservatism as an alternative to the Democrats, is William Howard Taft. 
And William Howard Taft, if you look at what happened to him, his entire party started stabbing him in the back. Teddy Roosevelt came out of retirement to run against him just to tank his political career. He was in some ways kind of the proto-Trump in a weird way. And he's the fulcrum point by which you wind up getting people like um, Coolidge, for example. Like Coolidge doesn't happen if Taft doesn't happen. Because Taft, towards the end of his presidency, started to buck Teddy Roosevelt. He was supposed to be a puppet president. And then he started disobeying Teddy Roosevelt and went and began to become a, a small government conservative. He started espousing more Jeffersonian constitutional ideas and, of course, eventually became a very good chief justice after he left the presidency. So that's if you want to see what it's going to look like when they start to lose power. That's what it would look like. And also it would look like a lot what it would look a lot like what happened to Trump. Uh oh. God damn it. Can I walk 15 feet without running into one of you chumps? Jesus. There we go. Shit. Serpentine, serpentine. Bam! Uh, and also, who among the Daily Wire talent pool has the biggest, is the biggest shyster in your eyes? Uh, Shapiro. Shapiro. Okay. By a lot. I mean, I, I put Matt Walsh and Shapiro kind of on the same level, honestly. They were both avowedly never Trump. And then right after Trump got elected. They were kissing it's not his ass. So much, it's not so much that they were kissing, kissing his ass. They just stopped talking about it, whether or not they supported him. You notice that? Mm. They just stopped mentioning it. And them not mentioning it is really an admission. They're still never Trump. They absolutely still are. And the moment DeSantis is even remotely viable, the moment he pulls ahead in the polls, you will see that mask come off. And that's so disingenuous. That's as good as lying to your audience. And the, and you know why they did that is because they would get too much criticism from the people they want money from. That's what it is. Grilly cheese. What Ooh. do you think of Taft being a secret member of the Skull and Bones Secret Society? I don't know that there's anything secret about it. He attended Yale. Yeah. I don't really know what's going on with all the conspiracy theories about that, but... All right, there we go. Uh, and we should be coming to the end here, or at least close to it. Read that, read that. It's a vintage cameo. Hey, is that a vintage coat? No, oh, it's a right now coat. <laughs> Charles Bronson, killing hipsters. This fall on Fox. <laughs> Gulch. Read that. Wow, this game is such a piece. So the the weapon to change or the button to change weapons is Y. The button to salvage weapons that you find in your um your inventory here is Y. Guess what happens when you hold down Y to salvage a weapon? Uh. You change fucking weapons. They didn't even program it so that you don't change your weapon when you try to. F <laughs> it's just. Dude, this game is a mess. Gridiron Masters, thank you for the two. Ah. Giga Mango Fanta, this game chokes and sputters when with its moon something music like a homeless Donkey Kong being sleep hugged by a that that sentence is a fucking mess. 
Oh, fuck! Thoughts on... No, I read that. Oh, shit. Read that, read that. Read those. We're just catching up here, folks. Good shit. Well, not good shit. This is this game has been anything but good shit. It's good shit that it's almost over. It's good shit that I didn't have to pay for it. Veto the Joker. The year is 1991, and all you hear is Nirvana's Nevermind, Metallica's Black Album, and Guns N' Roses' Use Your Illusion, Illusion on Repeat. My mom was so cruel. <laughs> it, it's almost a blessing being like a sheltered churchy kid when I was growing up, because all I ever heard was fucking Christian music. I didn't have to listen to any of that shit in the 90s. I was like hearing shit like Carmen and DC Talk. Like I didn't, I didn't even have to fuck around with Nirvana. <laughs> uh. All righty. Yeah, those water effects have not improved in the interim. It looks like it came out of a jello mold. One man army, two electric boogaloo. Okay, so one of the characters that described as a Navy combat engineer or a Navy aerial rescue team. Uh, two things. One, Navy doesn't have combat engineers. They have a construction battalion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow. Arcane Austin, having no clue about the fucking military, will... <laughs> wonders never cease. And you don't get to just be part of the Navy aerial rescue team. You need to put in a packet for that and change MOS entirely. Uh-oh. Lore, what's your prediction for CDPR's future? I mean, they're they're going with Unreal for the next Witcher game. Yeah, they're going with Unreal, and that'll uh, make a lot of money. They'll so. make a lot of money on Witcher, even if it's bad. Um, I mean, it is what it is. They, I think they are a mediocre studio with really, really good marketing. I've said this for a long time. They make games that are just okay, and then their marketers just do their magic. Why is there an incoming tsunami? That's how the game started. The vampires walled off the town so nobody can leave, not even through the the, the, the fucking sea. Using vampire magic. <laughs> yes! Vampire <laughs> waterbending magic. Thoughts on stoner metal? Uh, some stoner metal bands are okay. I'm much more of a uh, Funeral Doom fan than I am a Stoner Doom. But some of them are okay. Sleep, uh, somebody mentioned earlier, is pretty good. Oh, shit. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Right? Shut what? up, bitch! Oh, where did that miss? That did not miss. Scarfy the Strange, Book of Genesis, as Donald Trump... Wait, this isn't Celebrity AI Voice Generator? Why right? are people asking for this? <laughs> Aww. Lore, uh, yeah, I think that railing is bulletproof. Thoughts on Crowder versus Candace Owen? I think he could take her. That's right. <laughs> I, I think he could. Uh, we actually talked about this. Yeah, at we length. did last week. I yeah. just think uh, the thing that I find most interesting is like, there's no way Candace Owens knew shit about Crowder's marriage without being told it from someone close to him someone whose name may or may not rhyme with gen shapiro which is pretty fucking scummy when you think about it ben shapiro's literally sharing fucking private drama with people who work for him just so they can be his attack dogs in public 
That is that is some deeply skeegy shit right there. And I don't see anyone talking about that. I mean, however you feel about Crowder, that just that ugh. Want to take a fucking shower. Bob Jones meant to ask this last week. Did you hear they're making a I want to be ninja movie? I don't know what that is. I'm not sure like what that is. I must have missed the joke. Scarfy the Strange in Soviet Redfall, water can't cross vampire. I'm going to try this ghost gun in a second. Ashley, being kidnapped was more fun than playing Redfall. <laughs> Leon! Leon! Help, Leon! Oh, my God. What are you... Oh, God, here we go. Thoughts With on Chivalry 2, asks Patrick Perry. I've seen a little bit of gameplay of it. I haven't played it. Um, is it out yet? Uh, it's a free on PS Plus this month. Yeah, I have it. It looked cool to me. I love the original chivalry. Redfall is the reason my dog died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I read that. Sideburns, Tears oh and Rain is... Oh my god, this frame rate, dude. Oh. Tears and Rain is the Resident Evil 4 merchant. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no more Tears and Rain today. Come on. And was that the last one? Let oh, me refresh. Oh shit, here we go. Okay, there's a rendezvous at this pier here, right? Rendezvous. Yeah. At the Deuce X. Deuce X. Jovan, do you believe in Jesus? From Death Wish as Hank Hill. <laughs> do you believe in Jesus? Yes, I do, Hank. Well, you're gonna meet him. <laughs> <laughs> wanna, Bam! Want to lay odds on the neocons at least trying to stop T-Money from running? Absolutely. They the will. I mean, look. The old Soviet method? Yeah. Abs <laughs> well, maybe not that method, but... There will be an October surprise that is fed from the Republican side, just as there was in 2016. Just as there was in 2016. You think it's a coincidence Billy Bush is related to the Bush clan and happened to be involved in that fucking pussy tape? Like the fucking dude, a lot of shit that was thrown at Trump came from the Republican side. Hell, when they took out, uh, when Herman Cain started pulling ahead in 2012, it was the Republican side that fed that bullshit story about him and the mistress that did, it was later proven to be a complete lie. But that was all because they were scare shitless of herman cain who at that point was positioning himself as like the kind of tea party conservative guy they were scared shitless of a tea party candidate getting into the white house sweeping hamster what's an undead's favorite gun a ghost gun good shit emperor creatine Thank you for reminding me i need to use my ghost gun execute order p90x <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one Uh, Zeno, I assume you're guaranteeing this game with your good name, so I'm going to buy it. Oh, my God. Thanks for the stream and your other stuff. Hey, don't lay that shit on me. Rendezvous. Okay, well. Quick, I... use your ghost gun because we're done. Yeah. I'm... Wait, wait, let me find an enemy to fucking use it on. Go find a 3D printer and use your ghost gun. <laughs> oh, that's great. Don't tell the ATF. Whoa, what was that? 
I don't know. A new steak launcher and... Whatever it was, it was it was big. It's using the vents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. You don't get it. This sucker was huge. Okay. Oh, it locks onto multiple enemies. Oh, and that's uh, the time limit at the bottom. Oh, that kind of works. It's really god mode powers, but hey, I'll take it. Whatever. That was kind of vaguely neat. Oh, nope. There's one more. Nuke, did you have a super chat? So long, jerk. I spelled your name Nuge. I apologize. It is late. Your super chat. Oh, there you are. Uh, favorite Israeli firearm. I don't know of any Israeli firearms other than the, than the uh, Desert Eagle, obviously. That's, and that's, that's about it. Thoughts on projects? And I held the Desert Eagle once. I never shot it, but I held it, and it was really fucking neat. Thoughts on uh, Project Zomboid. And a, a friend of ours plays that game. It is. It just sounds so tedious. I don't think I could ever get into it. Like, manage your bleeding, manage your hunger, your thirst, walking around, never make a noise or zombies will swarm you. Kind of sounds like a New Vegas survival mode a little bit. The Uzi, to, yeah. apparently. What's up? The Uzi is an Israeli design. Is it? I didn't I did know that. I did not know that. Yeah, neither did I. It'd probably be, still be the Desert Eagle for me, as normy as that sounds. The Famas. If the fa I thought the FAMAS was uh, French. Is that actually uh, Israeli? I thought it was too. Ah, I keep missing that motherfucker. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of the FAMAS. You're not? No, no. I am. When I play like Rainbow Six and shit, that's my rifle of choice. Sweeping hamster. Now with the Koof emergency over, yeah, I'm reminded of that Herman Cain has his own subreddit. Lovely people. Never forget what these people tried to do. Oh, yes, wonderful human beings. 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just getting past cancer, having a weakened immune system, contracting COVID, not dying from it, but dying from complications of it, diabetes, and your. Uh, health previous underlying health issues and then having a bunch of fucking commie tards all of whom have diabetes commemorate your fucking death in the immediate aftermath of that oh shit well actually that's a perfect way to end the stream yeah it is <laughs> that is the complete encapsulation of the red fall experience and one, thank you one more one more danny numero six have you seen any of Sam Peckinpah's westerns like The Wild Bunch or Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid? Yes, someone asked that last week. Um, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. All right, and let me check Streamlabs. And that is it. We are done. Okay, ladies and gents. Thank you all for uh, spurging along with us. <laughs> Thank you for joining our Let's Mock stream of fucking Spedfall. It was, uh, it, it was an experience. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Razorfist for Terran Gell. Until next time, God fucking speed.